everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons, or are a little late on the draw when shouting the phrase out, Travis Hi. Willingham. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, before we get into tonight's episode, let's go ahead and jump into our announcements. Uh, let's see here, we've got a um, new game called Injustice 2 that just came out. Yeah. What is this Injustice 2 you yeah. speak of? It's a silly old game. Is that the shapes and um, pie making game? Do you yeah, play it with the uh, kitchen it's bakery? It's like cooking book. I yeah. watched a video today of you and you fighting. Yeah. Yeah. It's so great. Which was pretty exciting. Yeah, we have all the flashes covered, I think. Yeah, on our we actually yeah, we all have the all of the flashes yeah. are on this show. <laughs> That's crazy. So, who do you guys play? Uh, I play Barry Allen. I play uh, her first flash. What's his name? Uh, Eobard Thawn. Yeah, right. It's a hard one to say. I play Supergirl. Hey. 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 I play Tim Garrick. Jay hey, Garrick. Jay Garrick. Jay Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a tin pail for a helmet. It's it's pretty slick. It's 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 the World War One. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Right, one flash says, I don't know mind. really. He's Next Halloween, fun. man. He plays tennis with himself. Just He's saying. <laughs> oh my god. I would love yes. a picture of you wearing that hat. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, please. Yes, yes make that happen. happen. Please, it'd be great. And I play Deadshot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, check it out. It looks really good. They had us all do really intense facial motion capture, which is even funnier considering so that my character intense. wears a mask the whole time. Did <laughs> uh, they really make you do that? Yeah. yeah. With a mask? Well, not with a mask on no, my no, face, I mean, but, like, but like, yeah. That would have been even better. I assume the, I, <laughs> I assume there'd be like a DLC point? costume yeah, where he doesn't have a mask, or they just did it to, to fuck with me, oh, wow. which I respect either way. Uh, They're in the booth going, we're not getting any. I know. <laughs> Don't tell him. Let it roll. Let it roll. Oh, Just draw a dick butt on his it's forehead. It's fine. <laughs> Those bright lights are Just flickering in your face. Inducing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so. I know. So, so check it out. It's out now. It's fun. Uh, apparently, I've, what I've seen of it looks actually really cool. I've played yeah. a little. It's fun. They, they got their RPG in my fighting game, and that's that's right up my alley. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Also, uh, it's because it's coming up real fast. Reminder: Momocon, May twenty fifth to the twenty eighth. Momokin. 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 Uh, Talson, Marisha, myself, and Brian W. Foster are going to be there for a Talk to Machina panel, as well as other events throughout the weekend. So look forward to seeing you there in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, weekend after this one. Uh, also, I will be at Acon once again, June 8th to the 11th in Fort Worth, Texas. Come say hello to me there. And then uh, remember that Talk to Machina is live on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Pacific time here on Twitch and Alpha. Um, the submission email has changed. So uh, to submit your GIF and or fan art of the week, Use submit, submit, submit at talksmockingit.com. So that is submit, submit. One, 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 submit, not two. That's just my psychosis. <laughs> submit at talksmockingit.com. Submit, submit. Yes. Uh, anything else anyone wants to talk about? Are we good? Move on to the game for the um, night. Um, oh, 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 oh. Farpoint came out. So if oh, you have yeah. PlayStation Virtual Reality System. <laughs> Yeah. Um, then you can get Farpoint, and I play Dr. Eva Tyson on it, and it's actually a really freaking cool game, so. It's fun, you shoot things with a gun. You have to get the gun shoot things with a gun, and it was like a really cool script and stuff, so. That's like I like the story it. a lot. That's Pretty not how guns work. Are we talking about next week? Are we talking about next week? Oh yeah, we should say that too. That's a big uh, one. That's, that's a thing. Uh, that, that, one that wasn't on the list. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, um, yeah. so yeah, so we're, we're missing two cast members next week. Uh, Guess who? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's terrible. Um, but given the circumstance, uh, instead we're gonna have a non a non numbered episode next week. Instead, it looks like we're gonna throw in for a new higher level battle royale for those who will be here oh to see now how some of these higher level abilities function. I was about it you won't be there to put my face yeah. in yeah. lava this time. I'll yeah. listen myself to do that. I know you guys. I won't be there. So Wilfred Owen so won the last one. I've never done it. I've never You're done, done it either. Oh, yeah. No. And you're doing it as Terry? It's up to you. You oh. get to choose. Oh. You can oh, actually choose. Are you going to bring my scam? You can actually do it as Terry. No, not playing a bunch of games. Choose your weapon. Terry. Terry. Your weapon. All right, Terry's going to die. Dual wield. Like five Dual seconds. Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so if we loot Terry's body, do we get all of his stuff? It's not in canon. <laughs> no, even not in canon. In the game. Oh, oh if you go to his body while you, after he's dead, you can grab any of his you shit are, to you use. You are a loot as drop. As, oh my god. As long as it's not attunement. As long as it's not attunement, you can use it. Is the helmet attuned? It is. I believe it is, yes. Probably, yeah. Sorry. But we can just steal all of his jewels just for the sake there of it. There you go. In the it's Ultimate shiny. Universe version, you are just oh, wait, decked do I get, out. Do I get Doty in the fight? Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, that helps. <laughs> and you'll and you be leveled up to their level. <laughs> and, um, and I'll be leveled up to their level? The Battle Royale, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, we level up for that. So we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, oh, that'll be next week. That, that pushes our 100th episode to June 8th. 
Um, and it looks like we're confirmed for June 1st for our next yeah. guest, I believe. Uh, yes, yes, we are. We are confirmed for that. Are, that, are we announcing that? Yeah, sure. What are we announcing? Oh, well, on June 1st, our next guest, uh, John Heater, a.k.a. Napoleon Dynamite, is going to come play, play, play with us. That's going to be... A little roll absurd. Some dice. Yeah. My fun. mother has so, never been so proud of me. I know. Did yeah. we did we already say that because next week is being it's a battle royale, that means our hundredth episode. It's push of the eighth, yes. Okay, you already said that. I did. Was I busy rolling dice and you talking? Were. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Laura. Good looking out. I appreciate that. Um so yeah, I think that's all the major news. And uh given oh. that. Let's go ahead and dive into tonight's episode of Critical Role. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back, everybody. Um, so, last time, where we left off, Vox Machina, upon uh, working on their bakery, the Slayer's Cake, in Whitestone, um, made a possible new hire who turned out to be a bounty hunter, uh, a drow bounty hunter named uh, Kirin, who was sent here to acquire Terry and Darrington and bring him back home to his city of Deastock in Wildmount. Um, you guys all, through a series of uh, high-level magic scrying and transportation, managed to cut off this uh, specific bounty hunter on the outskirts of the city, and uh, in doing so, made an agreement to not slay her where she stood, and instead possibly make a transaction down the road. Um, you guys then made your way into the city of Diastock, to the uh, Darrington Estate, and were led up into the uh, the study of Howard Darrington, father of Tyrion, in which you all discussed the reasons of why he was brought back, the current financial state of the family, and the intent to resolve and remedy long-standing sins of the father um, through it, through you standing up and doing your family duty, from his perspective. Um, we left off as you guys had just finished that conversation, you had exited his study, and were about to go about your business. So, coming off of the tension of the conversation, you close behind you with a clack, the heavy wooden doors of Howard's study. Um, there you have uh, Berthold, who's kind of standing off to the side, the uh, dragonborn servant of the Darrington family. Uh, waiting patiently, and you all, at this moment, are at your own disposal. What do you wish to do? Just before we we move, the 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 names that uh, Dad had told us about to to maybe uh, parlay with in the in the uh, the myriad. Korshad. 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 Yes. Korshad. Korshad. <laughs> and, and how much was the here? And there was an, It was like 260,000. 230,000. 230. 230,000 gold. Okay. But wait, wasn't there some other name? Some, there was the like little... The, the Lord, location was... Lydia. Yeah. Well, there's Lydia. Well, 
Lydia was who you are the betro- to be betrothed, betrothed to. Yeah. Um, and the location was the Grumpy Lily. That's the right. Grumpy. I I it was bar. questioning myself when I was like, "There's no way something was called the Grumpy <laughs> Lily." My first stroke while taking notes in D and D. Grumpy the Lily. Many. Lily. Mm. The many. The many. Is who we want to speak to. I also yes, the many. just as something that happened. I was I I was. During that whole family family conversation, I was scanning the room and the bookshelves for anything interesting, anything out of sorts, anything out of place. Mm, we'll make a retroactive perception check. Retroactive perception check. I didn't want to. Uh, yeah, I saw. I didn't see shit. Okay, <laughs> well, I, I just rolled a three. That's nothing. <laughs> Rightly so. <laughs> retrograde. You know, they always say that retrograde perception is twenty twenty. No. What? <laughs> I, I appreciate what you were going for yeah. there. No. 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 Right, uh, so. Anyway, uh, uh, I would love to ask Berthold, Bert Berthold, mm-hmm. Berthold, uh, if he if he knows the the location of my of my sister. Um, uh, well, if if you are looking for um, Marianne, she's probably in her chambers. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I mean, I guess we could all walk to her room and knock on the door. It's a little weird, right? Do you want to just go, go talk out? to her and touch base with her? You can introduce us to her after. Sure, sure. So I'll lead them back downstairs to that main room that was all okay. awful and terrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was just <laughs> dark and cold and empty. Yeah. Like... So I'll lead them down there. This was our playroom. <laughs> 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 Uh, maybe you should just wait here and I'll go talk to Sissy and I'll be right back. All right. Is it like furniture to sit on or is it like barren? No, no, there's furniture. A lot of the furniture here is is like really well made, dark woods, fine like deep red maroon fabrics. Um, a lot of it has dust on it. Plastic covers? No plastic covers. No plastic covers. <laughs> um, but, really but, but, but a lot of the, some of the furniture here is for you, some of it is here just as part of the decor. Sure. And it's very easy to see which ones are which. I'm, I'm definitely going to sit on the ones that's just for decor. Okay. They're really uncomfortable. Cool. <laughs> as they I'm usually my are. My butt off. It's like a medieval bank lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a little butt print in the dust. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, at which point, uh, Birdhold. Uh, Acknowledging that you guys will be staying, it's like, well, would I could I get anything for you? Perhaps um, teas, juice, water. Um. What is this bullshit? No <laughs> You have fermented juice. <clears throat> I'll fetch the wine. And he hobbles off to acquire <laughs> some means of imbibement. Should we? Should we like pay him? We just found out he's like dead fucking broke. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd rather not. Okay. <laughs> okay, you make your way back to the second floor and off to the far western end of the estate to what you recall being Marianne's chambers. <clears throat> so as as you enter her room, which uh, is kind of become her own study, as she's you know you recall last time seeing her that it her room was becoming more and more of a functional office, and as you and then knock and push the door open, like a uh, familiar brother does, not not wishing for really any patience on her unnecessarily. Um, you can see the interior is, the bed's there for function, but most of it is almost, I wouldn't say a, a replica of, but it very much resembles the decor and mood of your father's study. Hmm. Um, you see her currently sitting at a desk in the corner, um, you know, her blonde hair is tied back in a tight braid that runs down her back. Um, she wears a, a coat and pants and, and seems to be dressed a little f- formally or business-like for being casually at home. You haven't really seen her dressed like this before, at least not on a, a casual circumstance. Um, as you glance over past the doorway, she looks up from her papers and... Brother? Hello. Sister. Brother, what? She closes the book. And you, you can see she's been looking over like, like ledgers and catalogs. There's like she's been doing a fair amount of work here at the desk and stands up and, in a very formal way, kind of begins to step towards you. When have you arrived? Just today, father kidnapped me and brought me home. <laughs> kidnapped? Well, I mean, I'm not a kid, but you know, still works. Uh, abducted, abducted me and brought me home. 
paid someone to do it. Right. Yes. Anyway, uh, it's good to see you. Um, your room is uh, coming along quite nicely. It seems like you're running the show now, is that uh, true? Uh, not quite, but the, the responsibilities have definitely been mounting. Uh, you look well. How, how have the wind-tossed roads of Exandria treated you this past year? Well, I have had many adventures and close calls, but uh, I won't bore you with those details. It's been an interesting year abroad, and I'm, I would say that I'm glad to be back, but for the abduction part, and also the fact that I've now learned that we are destitute, is that true? Um, we are, we are on the path to destitution, yes. So it's true, he wasn't just trying to guilt me. It, probably both, to be honest, but we are in a relative dire situation compared to our previous long-standing lifestyle choices. Um, oh, we're trying to fix this mess. And what would have been your plan had I not arrived today? Well, you, you were part of the plan. <laughs> hmm. um, we're trying to figure this out best we can, and well, given the circumstances, we feel that this is probably one of the most viable and, and least dangerous or risky endeavors in which we could write the family's trajectory. By marrying me to some, some lady I've never met. Well, you're welcome to meet her. I mean, I, I met her, I, I helped her arrange this. What's she like? She's very nice, she's very pretty, um, a bit bookish, which is, once again, I think would befit you rather well. Um, mm. But let's be honest, like, this, this is, it's a political marriage, you do what you want. I mean, there isn't a politician or lord of this land that you know, has, in some way, shape, or form, made their own life outside of the family. At that point, you see she gets a little dark and seems to speak with a bit of sarcasm. And father's businesses, are they being run the same way, with the same <clears throat> attention to detail and... and? There has been no necessary change to the way business has been done, um, other than Transition of some responsibilities, of course, mm -hmm. and she gives like a slight nod. Um, she's getting a little uncomfortable as the conversation continues. I, listen, I, I, sorry to pop in like this and um, uh, challenge your judgment, but me marrying this person would solve our problems long term somehow. Mm -hmm. Marrying into this family, uh, into the, the Truscan lot, would enable us the resources and the connections to reacquire mm. the deeds to our land, to reacquire the uh, business elements that we've been in this unnecessary partnership with for some time, and would enable us to once again reclaim complete uh, rulership of our family-controlled lands. Do we not own anything anymore? It is a partnership, a partnership that is quickly sliding into the, to the behest of the myriad. So what is ours now? Anything, our personal belongings? Ev this, this home? We still own everything in partnership. Hmm. Owned solely on our own, some of the furniture. And again, if I do this, what's to say that we're not just going to drive up another debt again? It doesn't seem like father or you have been very good at keeping us uh, in the black. I have only been recently brought into this unfortunate circumstance, my brother. And you can trust in knowing that in my studies, and my time spent here working with father, and being very clear and very thorough with the mistakes that he's made in the past, I will not be doomed to repeat them. 
So you and he are two peas in a pod, yes? Well, he's certainly in need of retiring based on the stress that he's put upon himself, and it would not be long until I would take over the responsibilities. All right, well, I may poke around and see if there's another way I could help. But before I do, is this fun for you? Do you like running this business or almost running it? It's certainly a better challenge than many other daughters of lords are given in their time. Do you have any friends? <laughs> friends come when the money and power's in place. Mm -hmm. You know this. I do. It's the way the land works. Well, I'll leave you to your work and uh, love the decorations. And I'll, uh, I'm considering the offer and I'll, I'll have uh, <clears throat> an answer for you by tomorrow morning. Wonderful. It's, as you begin to make any sort of exit, she catches you and goes, brother, your arrival here is a great boon to us. You have the power to change the fate of this family. Consider, consider the respect you have for the people who've worked their entire lives to provide for you what you've been given. Mother and father sacrificed so much for us. Consider weighing one's selfish interests versus the importance of a bloodline. That's all I ask. All right, I'll, I'll consider it with all my intellect. <clears throat> well, it's good to see you. And she steps forward and gives you kind of like a half hug. Ugh. But it's like kind of. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pat. <laughs> the back pat. <clears throat> good day. Good, good day. Good day. <clears throat> she kind of straightens her coat and sits back behind the desk and like waits for you to leave. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll shimmy out. Okay. <sighs> Uh, all right, I'll rejoin my friends downstairs. <laughs> Very well. Well. How'd it go? Yeah, well yourself. As expected. Um, yeah, things are about about uh, about the same between me and Marianne. And so she's still a raging bitch. No, she's. I mean, she's not raging. I think it's just, just rather rude that she doesn't want to come down here and meet us. She has her work and her. Oh, she's not coming down. No. That's weird. Well, I mean, I don't know. She's, she's busy, I guess. Okay. They're not they're not guest people. They're not they're not dinner party family. You get picked up on that. Not even much. for like people that could help them with the name. Did I you, mean, yes. Did you mention us or any, anything No, it didn't come up. <laughs> no. Oh. Um, they no. have any idea what a heavy hitter you are now and the type of people you roll. I mean, they kind of all. said, how have I been, but they don't really give a shit either way. So you just didn't even offer up the information? But w if they're not interested in me, why should I be interested in them knowing about me? Oh, that's, that's a fair. very good point. Back it up. <laughs> how, how, what are you thinking? Like, wh where's your head at? How can we help you? Right I, I mean, I don't know what to do. I there's this woman. She's apparently nice, and I could just go for it and marry her, and then it seems like all my family problems would be okay. For forever? Uh, there's no such thing as family no. problems being okay for forever. Really? I don't know. I I'm sort of curious about. Talking to the to the people who are in this contract with my father and seeing if there's any way that we can wiggle wiggle out of it a little bit, but I don't I don't know how to solve everything right now, and I also don't know if I feel a duty, a responsibility to this family <laughs> because they are my family. Grog. 
You feel a duty? <laughs> <laughs> the privy is over there, <laughs> or over there, or the front yard beckons. We may have opened a bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, I'm lost for the rest of this conversation. You're day drunk? You're day drunk. Needs a bottle day of wine. buzz. <laughs> day buzz. No, we just, that just had behavior. a little bit of wine, just a small amount. I carved my name into the floor. <laughs> part, of me, part of me wants to. Uh, Oh God! <laughs> oh, okay. Part of me wants to just turn around and go back with you to Whitestone and forget that the Darringtons exist, but I, I don't think I can do that because I am a Darrington, and I owe it to at least to my to my name to try and fix what I can. What you can. Yes. Don't sacrifice your entire life for this, though. Well, I'll try not to, but it seems like a, a plan B at this point. Also, you had no prior knowledge to your family's connection to the mob? No. It's way cooler than I thought my family ever was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew that my dad did shady business with lots of shady characters, but I never knew. I assume he paid off people. I assume he had friends in high places and people who he had had to bribe to turn the other cheek, but I never knew that he was in business with them, owing our whole existence to these terrible people. And uh, I don't know what to make of that. Well, T, I, I think we're all prepared to help you do anything you want to do. But are you sure you want to help perpetuate the family business? Definitely not. Listen, I think there's two steps to this. There's the short term and the long term. We have to solve this short term need really quickly. Not 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 this whole two hundred thirty thousand dollar I mean gold <laughs> debt. What? It's a white stone term. It's a uh, I, I mean, that wild mouth. Oh my god. My phone rang. I, love, I was I'm confused. I love what you I'm confused. It's so funny. My phone rang. Uh, anyway. Uh, listen. I had a few drinks before. <laughs> no, we have a short term problem that we can maybe go alleviate a bit if we go talk to these folk at the maybe. Laughing Ninny or whatever yeah. it's called. The, laughing the, laughing the, the Grumpy Lily. 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 I do like, like the Laughing, laughing Ninny. I don't want to go there one. instead. It's a very successful club. It's a stand-up comedy club. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 It's over. And then there's a long-term problem which I'll have to solve. Come on again. another day. Come again, come uh, again. Uh, there's a long-term problem that my family is awful and needs to be stopped at all costs. So, uh, and that's something that I'll have to deal with do the trus tomorrow. The Truscans? That's who you're being married into, potentially. Sure. Do they have a son that, that doesn't, someone that's, could be That's almost beside the point. Well, you, you're talking, talking about, about marrying sister. the sister, yeah. Oh, well oh, that's yeah. still, well. I guess it's not the same, is it? No. No, actually, it's quite, it's unfortunately the opposite. You're royalty, you know this. Of course, of course I know everything about royalty. Little, little royal girl. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what exactly is your duty that you're feeling inclined <laughs> towards? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, girl. Lila, is it Lila? L Lydia? Lydia. 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 Perhaps we should talk to this Lydia as well, because she's obviously in a position of being told what she's going to do with herself. Yeah, maybe she's also a badass. I mean, at the very least, we should meet all the chess pieces on the board, right? I mean, she lives in another part of the kingdom, right, Matthew Mercer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's she's... not a problem. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's true. But there's the in-town people we can meet first. Of course. Sure. Let's start to the mob. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yes, of course. Oh, yes, will you, yes. You'll We're come with me, with because I can't talk to them all Terry, of course we will. Wait, when you yeah. said we need to stop your family at all costs, are you talking about killing them? No, I'm not talking about killing Only them. When it's yeah, but, but Grog oh. does bring up a, a, a point that killing. I was trying to make before he started laughing when I said duty. <laughs> mm. <Let it> roll. <laughs> but what, what exactly are, are you committed to keeping your family Around, you you said you were compelled and you felt like you had a 
a duty, but then you immediately started talking about... <laughs> Stop it, Travis. God, I can't. It's, it's gotten to all of you us know, now. I mean, tearing your family apart. It's off to the races. And stopping them. My family is pretty bad, I've learned. But I've also learned from young Trickfoot that even a rotten family is worth trying to save. And I admire the path that she took with her family, and I would like to at least try to <clears throat> push mine in the right direction and try to make our name a little less shitty. That is a pretty big matzo ball, my friend. Well, that's why that's long term. Really? In the short term, I just want to get them safe. Yeah. I. If there's one thing I understand, it's giving your life to a cause. I just hope I you don't want to die, if that's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dedicating. Dedicating. Thank you. Giving. Time is a gift, I would say. Sure. So dedicating that gift is it's a big thing. But I just hope you believe in it. I I don't believe in them, but I believe in the cause right now, and we'll see how far that takes us. We believe in you. You guys. <laughs> Can you describe to me this duty? You that's don't that's care. hard. That's very hard. I think I do now. It's like, you know, is it really like hard, or you know, is it? <laughs> it's a little more nebulous than that, bro. <laughs> We can pass on this for now. Yeah. Adjectives are not my strong suit. So. <laughs> you know what an adjective is. That's impressive. Yeah, no, I got it one time at this tavern, and it just like was I had it for two nights. <laughs> <laughs> just itched everywhere. Listen, when you see my duty, you'll know. Mm. Copy that. Oh. It's it's loose. It's juicy. It's loose. <laughs> Uh, should we go to the Grumpy Lily then? Uh, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Oh, God. Oh, this is going so well. As, uh, as you're exiting from the house and uh, Burton's opening the door, you hear some heavy creaking from the stair that leads down oh. to the main area. Uh, and you watch as a uh, an older woman in kind of her early 50s or so, with her mid-length, kind of curly brown hair, shades of gray and green eyes, behind a small set of reading spectacles, um, kind of stoic of face, wearing what looks to be some sort of a uh, finely crafted silk robe, uh, clutching a kind of a book under her arm. She's coming down the steps and looks down and goes, Darian? Mama? <laughs> Darian, my boy. And she kind of sits the book down and walks up, puts her hands out, she probably just says, oh, Takes you at the sides of the face and pulls you in from. Ah, uh, uh, terribly sorry. I didn't realize that we had oh, guests. Oh yes, these are my uh, these are my allies and my friends. Uh, this is the team known as Vox Machina. They are a fearless band of adventurers, and they have taken me in as their own. Oh, look at you, so rugged. <laughs> well, so yes, I, I am a bit. So you've had some adventures with my boy, have you? Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> have you spoken with your father? Yes, I've spoken to father and uh, our sister, and um, it's good to know they're healthy. Um, and it's lovely to see you as well. Have you been happy at all this last year? I. I've, and she reaches back and takes the book off the, the step and goes, I've been um, making my way through your library. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my books in my room. Yes, well, I've had a lot of time to myself, been a bit under the weather for some time, and uh, these have kept me fine company. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I did. <clears throat> What's your favorite one? Well, not, not this piece of trash, and she sits down. Um, <laughs> there's one, oh, what was it called? 
uh, the river's dawn. Mm. It was a, a, a brilliant. Uh, before the river's dawn. Yes. Yeah. Before the river's yes, dawn. Yes, that yes, one. Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, it 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 dealt with a. Uh, it was sort of a, a continuation of the the creation uh, myth of, of of Wild Mount, but it turned into the spirits of the gods as these two fawns, and they fell in love, but could not be together because the dawn had to rise and yes. the sun would shun this. It was yes. very, very beautiful. No, it was, it was, but also heartbreaking at the same very time. Very much so, it reminded me of you. Yes. That's one of my favorites as well. Uh, I, I didn't break the binding too much, I hope. Oh. I'll fix it if you did, it's all right. All right. Um, well, that's, that's wonderful to hear, I'm glad you've been you know, uh, entertaining yourself. I know living with Papa can be very hard, and it's been very hard on you all these years. Um, if you would ex excuse us for just a moment, please. Um, that, just just a few moments. Cool. She kind of points sorry, towards the door. Sorry, I told you the light Yeah, no, no. no. going outside. Front, front door. door. Not, yeah. Front yard. Take what, are we yeah. leaving? Bottle of wine. No, yeah. Bertrand is leading you out of the main area. Out the front door? Out the front door. Out the front door. Out the house. Out the house. Out the house. Like, get out. Front yeah, you guys were on your way out. on the fucking porch. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Come on. She, as soon as she has some privacy with you, she goes, my boy. If you could indulge me in some strange honesty, I'm rather intrigued at this idea. I, I don't wish to undermine anything that we've built as a family. I've, I've lived a privileged life for a very long time, far longer than you and your sister have. I've lived within this house Rule from the world. I do as responsibility asks of me. My wedded duties as both a wife and a mother. And I do so without complaint. I have always seen you fight these same circumstances bravely. And I find vicarious joy in your escape from this place this past year. These books are a reminder of that same bravery. I know Howard has said many things, and he may be right. But there's a little part of me that welcomes a little change in scenery. And lifestyle. Maybe that's what the family needs. I don't know. Perhaps I'm foolhardy. I know not. No, no, no. That's. You're right to think this way. This year has been eye opening for me. And I know that you care for Papa and you are a diligent and faithful wife. But I know how hard it must have been to live this life for so many years, and I wonder what it would be like if you hadn't been with him, what kind of person you would be. Looking at you, looking at your sister, I wouldn't change it for the world. Well, well, things are gonna have to change at some point, right? So. One way or another, yes. I just, I just want you to, I want you to make choices for yourself. I want you to do what you think is right, that you could live with. Duty and blood is one thing. Talking out of turn. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, thank you, thank you for that. Um, could you I'll... 
What? Do you not, not tell Howard we've had this conversation? Mum's the word. All right. I, uh, I'll be back. And uh, well, maybe we'll have time to talk more books later. Oh, I would like that very much. All right. Good evening. Good evening. As you leave, she's like, oh, oh, and uh, the, the other one I was oh. trying to remember is the, <laughs> the Mountain Range of Gold. Oh, my and this God. This wonderful three-part series that When I, you think he's dead, but then he's not, he comes yeah. back? Well, the second book, you get halfway through it before he even turns and reveals I, I himself. Know, I know, well, I know. Well, you never see the body in the first one, so I know, I know. But then in the white robes and everything. Incredible. It's renewed power, incredible. it's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, never I'm met, sorry, you, yeah. have, you have your friends waiting on oh. you. <laughs> Good night, Tarion. Yes, I want to adopt her. <laughs> She's awesome. So, as you step out to greet the rest of your friends. All right, let's go to the Jumping Jimmy. <laughs> whatever it's called. How's your mother? Uh, she's, she's better. She's, I mean, she's, she's had a tough time, but she's, uh, that was the, the longest conversation I've had with her in many years. Wow. She said she's under the weather. Yeah, what's, she's what's wrong? wrong? I think everyone is super stressed out and heart sick about everything that's happening and l living with, you know, under a tyrant of a father is, it's not healthy. I, uh, you should have seen me when I lived here. I was not nearly as dashing or as charming as I am now. Mm. It, it took me spreading my wings and flying before I found my sense of humor and <laughs> my my hair looks better, it's my so shiny. eyes look it's better. So yeah. I thought you said that was because of the aloe vera. Well, yes, that's the, we didn't have any at home. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, of course. The change yeah. of climate. Not yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. 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 Salt, salt Chris air is better for you. Yeah. I mean, Life needs aloe to live, <laughs> is something I always say. <laughs> That's true. I've heard you say it's that true. It's a good two thing. or three times. It's just moist, moisturizing products yeah. in general. Yeah. Life, need, not, life needs moisturizing <laughs> products yeah. to live. In general, to live, yeah. Life um, needs moisture to live. <laughs> mm. I mean, I know my beauty regimen has changed. Yeah. Because you know, life needs moisture to live. Yeah. It's way smarter something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, got in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to the laughing ninny it is. Yes, it is. Mm. All right, uh, who's leading this charge? Uh, Probably you, Terry. Terry, Terry. I know, I know the place. Yeah, you yes. are in charge. While you've we're never, here. you've never been to this place. Nope. You've heard of it, but you would never be seen dead in a place like this before. Um, so you lead your way in at this point because you arrived. The sun was still in the sky, but it was deep in the sky. So by now, it's it's post dusk. Um, so the, you now see the, the, the massive stone and wood structures of Diastock uh, are dark against the ever dark sky with the windows now aglow with this warm yellows and orange of the candle and lantern lit interiors. You can see uh, there are hanging lanterns that are put out there and you can see a number of individuals that seem to work for the city who go and place these lanterns up on each of these, uh, these poles are now finishing their job and returning back to the evening. Um, following these lamps uh, along the street, and the, the cobblestones are still really well kept for as old as this town seems to be. Um, there's a, for, for a city that isn't a major metropolis within a kingdom, um, and what your experience has been in, uh, uh, in Taldore, a fair amount of money seems to still make its way through this, this city. Um, eventually you find your way fairly far north into the city until you come across the exterior of the Grumping Lily, asking a few questions to guide you to which building it is, because it's, it's much smaller than you expected. Um, you see what appears to be a single-story pub with a one window, one door, no more than maybe 30 feet on any given side. Um, the, the, it is lit from the inside, though it's dimly lit, and as you approach and push past the somewhat a jar entryway. Um, you see before you what appears to be three tables. Three singular stained round tables. 
One lone patron sits at the center table, an elderly man inspecting a very small, what appears to be clay sculpture that he's just enraptured by, and a single barkeep to your right that seems to notice your entry, a healthy, pale woman of brunette hair in her 40s, dressed in a simple gray blouse, who as soon as you kind of enter and take in the atmosphere, she goes, ah, slow day, folks. Um, happy to have the business. What can I get you? Jeez, Grog, I don't even know if you're gonna fit in here. Yeah, it's really tidy. <laughs> Your head does reach the ceiling. Shit. Sure. Let's just dive in, then. Should we get anything to drink first, or just dive in? Yeah, it's kind of like you have to buy something to use the restroom. Right, yeah. I okay. like we should. Do you have a Shiraz? I was just wondering if you had any imports. Do you have a red wine? Yes. That I, that I can get for mm-hmm. you, dear. Thank don't you worry, so don't much. worry. Red wine we can do, yeah. definitely. And she walks over and slams her hand on the side of the bar, and what you thought was once the patron now appears to be the one barman there. He's like, <laughs> wait, wait, I missed the conversation. Oh, the guy with the sculpture? Yeah. Nice. It's like, red wine for our guests. Oh. Puts it in his stands up and begrudgingly walks over. You see his back's kind of hunched forward, and he's like, eh, eh, leaves the room for a second. Well, sit down, find a place, wherever you like. Uh, you my main, uh, any, put two tables any, together, I guess? Uh, all three, <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's just take them all. Wait, this is the meeting place of a dark group, right? A shady group? I guess. Shouldn't we check this area for anything shady? Psh. I mean, sure. Is there shade? <laughs> Let's is there keep shade our eyes out. In this, uh, in this establishment? It's dimly lit, so I mean, there's plenty of shadows. It's a five by five square. Do we see anything amiss? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, 24. Nothing seems amiss. It All seems right. like a shitty pub. It's, <sighs> it's, the, it's the definition of a, of, a, of a poorly attended dive. Does it look like there's any kind of uh, seams in the ground that would be like a trap door or anything? Uh, you can make an investigation check if you want. 17. You begin to kind of look around the floor and keep uh, perspective around the area. No, you see some stains, you see some crumbs, and uh, at one point you look over in the corner and you see what appears to be a piece of stale bread that's been left on one of the tables, and there are three rats currently eating it at once, and as soon as you kind of lean in, they all kind of stop and look at you and scatter. All right, you can keep going, all right. <laughs> could be worse, they could not be afraid of you. That's true. <laughs> hey, just give me the fuck you look and keep eating the bread. It's when you know you've really found the right bar. Yeah. <laughs> the rats were like, we reserved this table yeah. two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make a phone call. We're regulars. The elderly barman walks in now, and he's got two bottles of red wine, and he's like kind of shuffling. I'll get your cups. He turns around and starts shuffling back. Uh, this might take do a you while. need any help? See you in five. Yeah. I mean, we have. Th- oh. It's fine. It's fine. No, just let it happen. Okay, <clears throat> who do you think we pr- we we proposition here? The, the old man or that the, guy? That guy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What makes you say that? Uh, shifty eyes. Shifty. Yeah. Maybe an act even. Yeah. Shifty it's just eyes. old. I thought. No. Nobody's <laughs> just old. <laughs> He's many things. <laughs> That's true. Look at Pike's grandpa. Uh, mm-hmm. Look at Pike. Uh, Look at Pike. Look at me. Look how she's <laughs> you're, uh, ancient. You're um. Mm-hmm. How old are you again? A hundred and forty-two. I said a goddamn. Is that, is that true? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, because you could be. I mean. I forgot my birthday. I don't know how old I am. Is it in the hundreds? Because you know, no. You gnomes I can think br- it's. I think it's in the thirties. Oh. Mm. Okay. Right? <laughs> uh, whatever you want. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you ain't no baby. Well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the the <laughs> religion man shuffles back now with like a, a bunch of cups, his hands kind of wrung through all the various handles. He's like. <sighs> Impressive. Uh, two gold for both bottles. I give him two gold. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, in my earring, I say to to Vex, "I'm cla- I'm clamming up. You do it. You do it." Uh, sir. He's he's walking. He goes like, uh, 
On your way to the back, could you, um... Could you tell the many we'd like to speak to them? <gasps> he slowly turns his head over to the, uh, the bartender, the woman. She kind of... What was that? Oh, just a conversation with the many. I what about them? my thumb into some wine and I use Thieves' Cant and write Discuss Ooh. in wine on the bar. Ooh. She kind of gives a click noise to the old man who goes, Zack. <sighs> Are you going to take your bottles or what? Oh, well, yeah, we'll definitely keep those. Mm. All right, pick them up, follow me. <laughs> Do you want to hear? Let's oh, we're going to get to see the real bar. <clears throat> and turns around and shuffles out. It's, nice. it's it's like following a bad, slow NPC in World yeah. of Warcraft. You're like, just go fucking faster. <laughs> He's just <laughs> way, back, his back, pace is back, terrible. Back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's here awful. Go, here we go, here we go. Uh, running ahead, running around. <laughs> He's like, just waiting. <laughs> Over here, adventurer! <laughs> Old school 007. Oh, oh, yeah. need some <laughs> um, but eventually he takes you out of the small pub, past like the, the unused kitchen, which has another series of stale you know, bread clumps on the side, um, down to what looks to be a broom closet. And he gets there to the edge of the broom closet and pulls out a key ring and... I want to pay attention to what key he's taking. Can I take the bread crumbs from the corner and throw it down so the rats could have it? <laughs> sure. Yeah. So you rats. walk over in the kitchen and kind of grab some of the bread crumbs and throw them down on the ground and you wait there because there's no rats present. And you're like, Got okay, bread crumbs. <laughs> they scatter a little further out. <laughs> you turn around, and the minute you turn in the area here, the look over, and there's like seven rats that just scurried out of the shadows <laughs> and are just going at these uh, crumbs immediately. No, you can't keep one. I killed all of them. No. No. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> uh, that's the wettest sound I know. I nudge my, I nudge my sisters. What? All mine. Fine, yes. Mm -hmm. That she is. Uh, he finally pulls one key and unlocks the small closet you paid attention to. Mm -hmm. Opens this rickety wooden door, and she goes, eh, and just walks past and gets kind of behind the door, expectantly waiting. You guys glance into the space, and you can see there's, looks to be a low torch light about every 10 feet down a wooden stairway that descends about 30, 40 feet. Uh, Let's go. Traps people hiding anything that seems out of place Dodgy. or dangerous. It all traps. seems out of place. More people hiding. Traps. I'll look for people hiding. Perception. Hey. Pardon, perception check. Investigation <laughs> check. <please>. Yeah, perception. <laughs> Twenty-four. 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 Oh, Look at that. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys make your way down. Um, no traps in the, the stair descent, but you make your way to the bottom of the stairs without issue. You don't see anything necessarily fishy. You do see the kind of the. These torches have been burning for a little bit, a couple hours, and are probably needing to be re upped pretty soon. Um, you guys eventually make your way down, and as soon as the last of you, who's falling up the rear in this, by the way? What's the marching order? Hmm. I'll go toward the front with the twins. Twins, Terry, and okay. little the, 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 the hallway here is about big enough for you to go single file. Okay. Uh, you want to be behind me, Terry? I'm yes, in front of Grog. Please. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, hang with Grog and Pike. I'll take Grog. I'm the center as well. I'm in the back. Okay, so Grog's in the very back. Oh, no. Keyleth, no. Percy. Pike is back. Pike is with Grog. It's all dragons. Okay, Pike's with Grog. So we'll say Grog in the back, then Pike, Pike then, then Keyleth, then, then Percy. <laughs> 20. Then Terry. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then me, the and then back. And you have tricky <laughs> protection. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> you guys descend down the stairway. As soon as Grog, you make your way in, it's, it's tiny. You have to kind of like <clears throat> squeeze in and duck low. And even like just walking through the pathway, your shoulders are kind of like rubbing against oh. the sides of the wall, and your head kind of occasionally. <clears throat> It's like you in Japan, baby. I know. <laughs> Taking a shower, I broke like two shower heads. <laughs> Just turning around, like. <laughs> proud of that. Was, was it like the beds? Was that like lying down on a saltine for you? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, my heels were just over like the. Oh. <laughs> McDonald's and his head hit the ceiling. You are a kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> a kaiju from 
the deep. It's going to be juicy. seven. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, before we go any further. Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I was rat check. Before we go any further, rat I want to make sure. Rat do I have check. to be doing a short rest to do the inspiring leader thing? It's 10 minutes it takes to do. Oh, never mind. Well, no, we could stand here for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, no, please. <laughs> we'll fucking happens. say some words. <laughs> I'm new to the being an inspiring and uh, leader yeah, thing, so. It, but yeah, it's, it's 10 minutes, it's kind of like a before you before you know you're gonna go into something, you uh, start to do I should have done that at the bar. Would Probably. be cool if you were just pecked off us back. all the way down here. Yeah, 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 that'd be start great. Start it now, we'll see yeah, if it's a 10 minute walk. Yeah, start it now, just do it while we're talking. Okay, okay. While we're walking. As we walk, we'll walk, we'll walk real slow. You know what, guys? <laughs> I've had a lot of time to think over the year that we've been away. And the door closes behind Grog, and you hear it kind of lock. Oh, shit. And I just, you know, I feel like we've grown so much as people. And, Inspiringly. You know, you guys are just your, your family. <laughs> well, like, you're a family to me, and, you know, and I, 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 I go on for a while. Do you guys remember that time in Stillbin <laughs> when we, like, very first met? And like we kind of all didn't really like each other, <laughs> you know. And like Grog, I don't think you understood me for a while. But then like don't you know, know. <laughs> did he Grog to you? I don't yeah, remember that's, any that's of fair. It. Hey Grog, do you me remember either. that one time? <laughs> this is great, by the way, because at the bottom of the stairs it only goes for about 15 more feet before there's a door and there's a man on a stool who's just sitting there going. <laughs> We'll just stand there and she'll, kind of listen to She'll just be just, like another just, minute. Just, just give a us bit. one minute. find out what the inside of a bag of holding feels like. <laughs> <laughs> No, she's almost done. He, he's not stopping you. So. Do you remember that time <laughs> that, um, that I made you, I, was, I think it was like the first time I made you laugh, and I, pr I turned into an earth elemental, and then pretended to do like a, I'm going down the stairs thing through the, through, through the floor. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you remember that? Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah, I just remember that the other day, and I just love you guys so much. Mm, you know, nice. and I don't feel included just, in this. Um, yeah, I don't think you were around yet. No, I wasn't. I was not. But I love you so much. Okay, now I feel better. That's all. And, um, Any change in our bodies or anything? You know, I just, I just want to say, I, I think, I think. She's going for ten. <laughs> ten you said it had to be ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as as, as, as you guys are all I think we've in the really hallway, Grog at the back. You can't move forward because everyone stopped, and you're just kind of like. <laughs> Uh, all, all of you who who wish to can take se can take 17 uh, temporary hit points oh, as part of the inspiring leader oh, feat. Yeah, so oh yeah, you want to mock you until you realize you get your hit points. Yeah, you it. But it, it is your choice as to whether or not you felt inspired by that to take them. It fills me with vigor, <laughs> and I just I, lo I love you guys. I love you guys so Thank much. You, Grog's too uncomfortable to take him. No, I just start weeping silently. In the back. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, he wouldn't even feel the difference. That's true, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what Grog needs, his temporary just, hip yeah. Yeah. Grog would just go, <laughs> Not showing. Not showing your sensitivity. Thanks, thanks, Caleb. That <laughs> oh, good. That was really nice. Was nice. Thank you so much. Trip down like memory lane. I'm too inspired. Yeah. 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 Just thinking about it. Oh, hey, so how's it going, there? Oh, hi. hi, friend. See this guy. He's. he's Tough and surly, looks like a balding man who's just like made of muscle and anger. <laughs> he's sitting in there with like one one eye open, one a little squint. And he's Do just you feel been... inspired? No. Not the warm and fuzzy type eye. He doesn't seem to respond. You do hear like a series of muffled voices and what sounds like a faint like beat or some kind from the other side of the wall, just muffled. Uh, is the beat. password, uh, I am what I am? I'm not sure. Nope. <laughs> Too strange a reference, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he begins to reach over for what looks to be a small lever that's hidden on the side. We're here to speak to the many. Stops. Mm. Oh. Fuck. All right. We're in. And just, just go on in then? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, that word just gets us in. So, um, <clears throat> so as you guys enter this this doorway as it pushes open you're immediately hit with it is a wall of voices and laughter and conversation just interweaving in multiple languages it's it's kind of this is far more lively than you expected it would be it's a large uh, like a tavern hall it's it's almost two stories tall but it's open there's a central circular chandelier that hangs over with be flickering candles in a circle around it 
Um, you can see elements of what are almost like a second floor, but it's more like a slight balcony outcropping. You don't see any doorways. It's just like a like a, a leveled platform above, and there before you, you see what has to be three or four dozen people scattered across a number of tables, all in various forms of dress, and uh, many of them are drinking. Some of them are playing uh, games of chance. Some of them are in deep conversation. Um, uh, you can see the, the, the music, though this is a bad example, but it's what I have. Um, it's not a full band, per se. It looks like there's a set of three percussionists in the far corner that are all in the process of just weaving this almost like rhythmic beat that shifts and changes. Some of them are more like on a, on a hand drum, some of them are more like some small percussion instruments, but it's, it's interesting. It's not the usual bar atmosphere you're used to. It, it has almost a, uh, a weird... Uh, kind Would of, you say more like Blue Man Group or more like a Subway Bucket Drummer? It's like Stomp. I'd say it's in between the two, actually. <laughs> yeah, like Stomp. <laughs> take a little Blue Man Group and a little bit of Subway Bucket Drummer. <laughs> okay. It's right in between there. Mm. Um, but you guys step into the chamber and kind of take in the atmosphere a bit, whether that be with smiles, awe, or confusion and, and uh, care. It's exactly I what like I said. It. The real bar. Yeah. 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 I like this. This is like old times. Yes, it is. Yes. As you guys, uh, as this happens, as soon as you begin to have this conversation, you're kind of taking the atmosphere, um, one of four bar hands sees you approach, and you see a jagged smile of a hairless man with ruddy skin that immediately comes up to you. It's like, hey, friends, hey. New faces are few and far between here in Deerstock. Uh, welcome to our little slice of the family, eh? <laughs> what can I get you? Well, we kind of brought, we kind of brought bottles. <laughs> that, that's rude, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but obviously, the good stuff's down here. Yeah, I don't know, you got that shit, but put that away. <laughs> we'll get you right and fucked up, eh? A Shiraz. I'll see what I can muster. <gasps> <laughs> I like these people. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, come to Slim Pickings for room here. Yeah. It's a bit early in the evening, it's busy, so, uh, just find some space, sit down. If folks don't want you to sit by them, don't fucking sit by them. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Good Do you see room for a, a large group? You see two tables that have rooms for half of a large group. All right, split up. Split why the party. Why don't we ask them nicely if they would like no, to move. No, we don't. Let's not do that. Yeah, no, you do that. This, this, Go this not bar. Is up. Not in this bar. <laughs> no. 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 This is this is special. Now how about the talkers go to one table like and then that. and then the, the defenders go to another in case shit goes bad. All right. I like the that. defenders table. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So I'm on the talkers table. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> 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 well, Vex, Terry, I feel like you guys are sure. good talkers. Right. Oh, I don't know about that. I'll oh. join you. I'm actually going to uh, one of the room. Yeah. All right. I'll sit with Grog and Pike. Yeah. Three, yeah. three, and Shiraz one time. On, one on the floor. All right. Shiraz. <laughs> so. What's our play here? Do we just keep saying the word many as many times as we can? And yes. how so far that, this, it goes? This is, this is it. That it is in as so we now we say, we, we ask for her by name, or him by name, Kor Korshad? Yeah, Whatever. I mean, he or she may not reveal themselves too quickly. All right. We could buy Korshad a drink. Might not be a single. That is a beautiful idea. Thank you. All right. Take care of one Terry and Derek. Of course. <laughs> I have just enough for a nice drink, and that's it. Oh, we'll cover the drink, darling. I'll bring the drinks in. Party funds cover the drink. Oh. It's just in your name. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Mm. I'm slow to catch on sometimes. <laughs> we'll Alrighty. Receipt, of course. Can we grab a barmaid? Of and... Receipt. Yeah. Make sure you get it. Uh, well, I, you guys find a, find a, 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 you split between the two tables. Um, you. On um, one of the, actually, funnily enough, you guys sit down. One of the tables that appears to be uh, three guys who are in a card game. As soon as you sit down, they just kind of, uh, and then keep talking amongst themselves more about just like taking bets, bluffing each other, giving shit about their home lives and stuff like that. The other table has uh, looks like four uh, quiet individuals that are uh, look to be elvish lineage, either half elf or full elf. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, they're they're wearing these. Hoods that show the ears from underneath, but then seem to block a lot of the features of the face and guard a lot of the forehead. These kind of silk hood that kind of drips down past the nose on the sides of the. Do we head. recognize any kind of semblance of that make garb? A, make a history check. History check. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, well, my history is shit, but 19? Yeah, 19. Um, you've, you've seen this kind of, we well, haven't seen this kind of dress, but you've, you've heard of it. It seems to be uh, of Wildmount, but the eastern side of Wildmount, not part of the Dwendalian Empire. This more, uh, this more stems from uh, Zorhas, which is the other kingdom on the continent, and is actually kind of an a tense existence along the border of the Dwendalian Empire. Duhast. Um, Duhast. And you said it's to the, to the east? Shorhas, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Shorhas. Um, it is now. Duhast. Duhast. No, 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 it is. It's whatever it's called in the campaign guide. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh man, that's right. Yeah. Now you have to stick to what you wrote. Yeah. That's crazy. I know, I just have to go look it up again. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, as, as soon as you sit down at the table, the, the four individuals kind of look at each other and then to get up from the table and walk off to find another place. Oh, wow. Oh, smell well, you, Nancy. Now we have a full table. Maybe some of us don't smell very good in this group. Uh, I'm not one of them, though. I smell amazing. I smell fucking fantastic. You? And I'm over there. I'm going to uh, <laughs> laze about the uh, musicians and, and listen to the musicians and wait for them to finish a set. Okay. Mm. Um, well, I well, guess so. All of us can sit at the table. Since the people all of you guys can be able to sit at the table now that you've oh, well, <laughs> you've kind you of forced them off their own space. Whoops. Um, the you guys playing the card game seem to pay no mind. Um, so as you sit on the table, uh, the the bartender who met you here uh, approaches and once more and goes like, "All right, looks like you found a place to sit. What can I get you? Got you? This is Rosie Raskin, eh?" Really? And he goes ahead and he pulls up what looks to be a dark green bottle. Already uncorked, and he brings over uh, like a hefty uh, metallic goblet or, or tanker of some kind, and pours it in there. It appears to be something akin to a Shiraz, I suppose. <laughs> um, fills it to the top, slides it forward. <laughs> All right. Drinks for anyone else, eh? Yeah, you got any like, like pies or like meat or both to drink? <laughs> <laughs> Do they not like her food? No, probably. I can get you a meat pie if that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't recommend you drink it, though. You could probably squeeze water from a stone, so it wouldn't surprise me if you could. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah. Meat pie in an ale, please. All right, coming on up. Anyone else? Whiskey? Mm. Same. Well, we done. Cheers. Whiskey, whiskey. Hey, you little one. Well, you said you have things that'll fuck you up right. So, what would that be considered? Uh, I mean, no offense, lady, but you're a bit a small side. I'm not you that. Don't judge me. I mean that respectfully. <laughs> Look, I'm just looking out for my patrons here. I don't want to go in, you know, send someone to the local temple to get brought out of a stupid. Bring it. People under the table. Bring it. All right. I'll on. take your word for it then. <laughs> uh, so. I'll, I'll have another Shiraz. Uh, and another Shiraz. And over the earring. Pickle, will you get me one of those as well and don't drink it before I come back? Please? As a matter of fact, I want two of whatever that is. All right. Come on, Will. Thank you. Leaves the table. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> you have to order the drink when, when he comes back. Oh, the other drink. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, before he goes. <laughs> uh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. So pardon me. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, I have one more order to make. Yes. yes. I'd like to buy a drink. <laughs> oh, wow. For Korshan. Oh, that was wrong. That was not at all. <laughs> Courtesy of Terrian Darrington. Wow. And I'll slip him a gold piece. I thought you were about to shake his hand with two fingers. There's a coin between us. <laughs> Of <laughs> course, you say. Yes. All right. I nudge him under the table. You want what he likes? It's going to cost you more than that. Oh. What does he like? Whatever it is, uh, here's another four, and keep another one for yourself. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. That'll put you up to your stuff. We'll go ahead and settle your bills at the end of the drinks. But all right. Uh, go short it is. I give Terry a five. What table did, did the bartender look at when, when he said that? Uh, make a perception check. Oh, I was planning on like totally watching that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, say 13. Should I 
roll two? Well, if you said you were looking at it as well. Oh, yeah. Please, yeah. please. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Roll that okay, okay. retcon die. <laughs> uh, 30. 30, okay. God, um, thank God. You, you, get, you gather the direction that he glanced. He, he seemed to just kind of, it was a cursory look. Um, more like checking to see if the individual in question was still in the room or not. Um, but you got the direction of it and kind of, you, you know exactly where he was looking, but there were three tables and right. that way there. Um, he leaves for a bit, and uh, you know, the, the laughter is still kind of uh, rising and falling throughout the room. Uh, the musicians in the corner, um, which are two younger uh, human boys, and what appears to be a female Goliath, who has the the heavier drum in the center, who's like the the, the mid piece, the big kind of, so cool. and the two guys are doing. What one of them has a small set of almost. Uh, uh, like lap drums that he's hitting, the, pop, 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 the faster kind of beats in the guy to the left of her. Um, they, they, they could be brothers, you're not too sure. Their features are similar, but different enough. Uh, ages seem off a little skew. Uh, the guy on the left has a series of small wooden blocks and what looks to be is some sort of contraption that has like three or four different small uh, percussion instruments that are all fixed to it, and so he's kind of leaping between them all. And it's, for being just percussion, that kind of variety is still making a cool melody. Like you're still able to find certain notes and certain blends where it, it, it still is a very different and unique atmosphere. Um, but they managed to, to bring to this, this crescendo of the piece that you entered on and it finishes. Um, there's no real, there's occasionally a couple clap here and then most everyone's busy about their own shit oh, and they I, just. I okay. Excuse me, players. As they're both like looking over to grab a drink to stop and the, the younger guy with kind of a scruffy chin and yeah. this kind of mop of hair that's a little wild glances over to you. Yeah, that was a, a really unique uh, piece you guys just did there. Um, thank you. Y you're welcome. You know, I, I've only ever heard uh, music like that one time, and it wasn't wasn't here. It wasn't in this city. It was uh, actually in Amon. Um, what was his name? Dranzel. It was a musician named Dranzel. This is a long shot, but you haven't come across. Uh, a Dr. Dranzel in your travels? I've always wanted to hear him play again. Uh, can't say I have, sir. My apologies. Oh, shit. Right. Sorry. It's okay. You guys heard of a Dr. Dranzel? And the other guy goes, nope. Orcish, and they, stylish they, hats. The Goliath woman's sitting there and she's just kind of staring off across the room and goes, no. I love <laughs> Sorry, friend. All right. I'm Play keeping on. an eye on the side of the room that he like glanced in, looking for anybody going in delivering drinks to mm -hmm. the okay. table. Just kind of. Um, you watch uh, the gentleman who has been getting your guys drinks, and he's in the process of uh, getting all of your various drink orders and pouring what you've uh, requested. And he does come to a point where he gets this one. It's like a fine jeweled goblet that he has. Specifically set off to the side, and he takes it and washes it and takes care to like clean it entirely and dry it off. And uh, once it's set there, he reaches underneath, kind of counting a few bottles, pulls one drink, uncorks it. It's this thick, thick, kind of like dark brown glass jug. As he uncorks it, he kind of pours it into there, somewhat locks it over, grabs another thing, seems to be mixing it with something else. He's being very careful with the uh, the, the actual amounts he's pouring. Finishes that, takes a piece of some, looks like, a, like a, uh, an orange, kind of crushes it in the inside and leaves the rind inside, and um, takes it and kind of swishes it for a second, <sighs> and walks over to a table uh, across the entire hall, kind of where you even saw him glance before. One sex on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, he walks over to a table where you see um, appear to be about, about five different patrons at the table. Um, most of them wealthily dressed. Um, two of them appear to be older, mercantile or business owners. They they wear their jewelry on their hands, you know, very very extravagantly and and displaying both wealth and prestige. Um, to to an to an ostentatious way that you know most, uh, like high end guild. In, you know, workers or, or owners tend to display. You've, you're very familiar with the caste systems that have emerged in a lot of these central metropolitan areas, and so you can very easily pick up some of those themes. Um, two of them appear to be, as a contrast, very simply dressed. 
Um, no, no jewelry. Um, you can't make out any details from this distance. And there's one man who he hands the drink to. He sits down in front of him and slides it forward. The man you see there, he's uh, deep brown skin, uh, marked with appear to be a number of tattoos that kind of curl up his arms and up to the side of his neck and touch his ears on each side. Um, his He's wearing light, billowing clothes of silver and maroon silks um, that kind of ended about the elbow and then just kind of hang and billow beneath, leaving the rest of his arm completely uh, visible, where you can see the tattoo continues up the forearm and kind of grasps the back of the hand, almost like he has a gauntlet on that's just his skin. Um, you see around him just a series of gold and silver bracelets and rings that adorn his fingers. Um, his face is framed by a lion's mane of black and gray dreadlocked hair. Um, and because your perception check at this distance and your, your range of like eyes, you can see what you perceive to be a visible scar on his throat from ear to ear. Um, and he's currently in a conversation with the patrons at the table, kind of leaning back in his chair in a comfortable uh, setting. And as soon can as the drink is. Hmm? Can I read his lips? Uh, sure. Well, the, the drink arrives and gets pushed forward, and you, you read the uh, bar keeps. Ellipsis, he says, um, this, this drink is uh, a gift to you from uh, patrons on the other side of the place. And uh, this individual, which you assume at this point is probably Korshad, just kind of gives him a look and goes, whom? And he points over, right over to your table across the room. You watch as Korshad kind of sits up, glances over your direction, sees you looking at him directly. Takes the drink, scoots it over next to his side, and then folds his fingers and goes right back into kind of listening to the other conversation of the patrons and the uh, the barkeep who's standing there is kind of right, and then goes back to the bar, gathers the rest of your guys' drinks, and brings them slowly over to your table. Um, passes it out. Like, All right, we've got second straws for you there, sir. We've got whiskey and a whiskey. We got an ale and a meat pie for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you will. Uh, <laughs> then he brings up these these two mugs. They're like just simple ceramic mugs that are just kind of dark and handcrafted. And he sloshes them up to you. And as you see inside, most ale has a good liquidy content. This has a very kind of syrupy, thick oh, texture man. to it. <clears throat> and he slides both forward and goes, oh, "Don't expect you to drink both those back to back." Well. That's not up for you to decide, my friend. <laughs> Get on the earring. Hey, String Bean, your drink is here. <laughs> yeah, and Saren Ray will know if you drink it before I get back, so just hold on to me. Well, I can't make any promises. And she heaving spoilers. One point of corruption. Now, this, this here is the change bringer's nectar. You sip this slowly. Change okay. bringer's nectar. Ooh. Ooh, I know. That's awesome. Walk past the 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 diplomats table, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna kind of like run my hands. Well, on you the guys back. are all at the same table now. Oh, we're at the same table. Yeah, because yeah. because well, yeah. one one table got up as soon as you oh. sat down. They were like, oh, so nope. So we together. Yeah. Yeah. Diplomatic immunity. Okay, then I'm just gonna like uh, diplomatic immunity. Kind of lean into Vex and give her an enhance ability on her charisma. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, Take that. Needs it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what other abilities do you have? You get advantage on Christmas checks. checks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On checks. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Her like cleavage gets a little nicer. You know, her hair gets get a little nicer fuller. Than it already is. Yeah. Very fair. <laughs> All set out loud. Look, but you have to feed into it. Hi, hi, uh, which, which, which one of those two is Vax's? Hmm? Hmm. Which one of those two belongs to Vax? This one? Oh, that one. I'm taking a sip of it. Take I a sip. Please, it's we very have to. thick. <laughs> it's it's very thick and it's it's sweeter than you expected, but it has a, def a definite burn that grows and grows after <laughs> drinking it, and it's. <laughs> It's syrupy. It's syrupy, but it, but as it, as because of its syrupy texture, as it goes down, it also coats mm. and Robot numbs it. everything as it touches. Percy, I saw that you have to buy me a whole nother drink. Uh, that's fine. I put my 
I put my uh, whiskey in its place and take the whole cup. <laughs> no, motherfucker, that's not what I said. <laughs> 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 no one after it. That works out. That's fine. Oh, I wanna, I wanna, to start with me for the Are you sipping it? I'm sipping it. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing as the locals I do. Feel that. Enjoying it how he told oh. me. And you, you, you get the sense it's probably a good thing. Yeah. This, yeah. this is. Oh. It burns. Yeah, it's 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 almost like. I would say it's it's, it's maple syrup, Everclear. Oh, mm. gross! Oh. Bless. That, that sounds, sounds exciting. How's the meat pie? Meat pie's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> that makes me want an empanada right now. Oh. Oh. Right? Role, role playing, guys. Oh man. <laughs> so good. Sadly, no empanadas in DS Talk. No empanadas. I'm, why isn't he coming over here? Should we send another drink? No, no we shouldn't. Maybe He's in the middle two of a this conversation time. Right he has to sit now. and enjoy his drink. Let him take some time. Should we send him a change bringer's next time? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Pike. <laughs> yes. I only had like three drinks, <laughs> three sips. Keep going. Keep, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. tiny sips. Tiny. They were so small. Drink some, maybe some water too in between each sip. Okay. There's <laughs> water. It's maybe some ale. meat That's pie. That's whiskey. That's supposed to be. Never mind. Go ahead. Um. Hey, who's the change bringer? Does anyone know? I feel yep. like this drink is change. inspired. Can I like do a do like a check to make a religion it? check? Aw, oh, that's not. I'm not good at this. Hi, oh, you know gods. Let me see if I it's know. The change maker. <laughs> if if I know a check? change gives bringer. Gives you ten copper for every silver. One. Oh please, I don't. I have no idea. There I definitely have here. zero I idea. Let's no, see if I can think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just think of this. Think of this. Think of this. Fourteen. Nope. <laughs> it's it's really not that hard. The change bringer is Avandra. It's is uh, Avandra, one of the gods of the pantheon. Oh. Yeah. I mean, of course we knew that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the the change bringer <laughs> is the that looks over um, uh, luck, looks over um, adventure, travel, uh, the open road, that kind of basics. That's as much as you can glean from your passing knowledge of the deity. Um, since you are not a woman of faith, obviously you don't know much beyond that. No. no. It just sounded fancy. Don't know it much sounded so fancy. fancy. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, kind of the, the <laughs> goddess or her. She's also known as the <laughs> she who makes the path. <laughs> uh, hey, Terry. Yeah, yes. Is it time? Should hey, I go just over there? Calm down. No? Right. This, is, this is mainly what I'm trying to tell you right yes. now. Stop being so weird. Do you want to sip a change bringers no. next year? It might actually help you. Just no. like one. Do what, do what we do anytime there's trouble. Just sit down, pay attention, and do everything she says. And don't, don't look sneaky. <laughs> have a sip look, of this, it'll help. All right. Yeah, seriously, just have a little sip. Just a little sip, it's always good, you know, all to right. relax your nerves. Loosey goosey. Two, two yeah. tablespoons. Yeah. Two I'll tablespoons. take my helm and just sort of cock it to the yeah, side. Jauntily. A little. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's yeah, jauntily. That's good, yeah. Just get, you know, Okay, it, now, it's now I feel like I'm on a listing <laughs> ship. <Yeah>. What's, your, <laughs> what's your confident face look like? Oh, oh, let's, uh. Oh, more oh, tongue, no. more tongue, a little further. Yeah. No. That's so confident. A little higher eyebrow on the right side. Okay, maybe yeah. stop. I'm just afraid he's going to look over here at any moment. I'm keeping an eye on good old. Corshad and okay. seeing if he like looks over here. Okay. I also want to like see if I can catch his lips and see what he's talking about over on the side there. And okay. I would like to look around the room and make sure that other people aren't watching us or if so, where in the bar they are. Good make call. Check. And I would like to make my way over to the Goliath woman. Okay. <laughs> so you've been walking that direction. Drug, I, oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, Vex. That'll go well. Um, couple things. One. Um, you notice that 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 Korshad, well, well, seems to be mostly being talked at, or at least just listening to a conversation. When he does speak, he leans in and does this. Of course, oh, he wow. fucking dies. Like, he, he, he knows. You get, he, you get the sense he's a very guarded man, and has this is not his first rodeo. Okay. So he speaks through his fingers. Um, I do too. <laughs> That's just one. Her. I, but, I but, enough. But he, not, but he doesn't Mimic appear to look Vex. over at your table again. He does. He's, he seems to have acknowledged the drink, has en is enjoying it slowly, and is back enthralled by the conversation at his table. All right. 
Uh, what'd you roll? 25. 25. And what did you say we are going to do? Mimic Vex. Okay. <laughs> you both just cover your mouths. What are you doing? I'm following <clears throat> the lead. Just don't, you don't have to do that. Oh, okay. Just, you know. Does this one still work? We can do this one. Yeah, that one's yeah, good. This one's just this. Yes, just there. Is this good? Is this good? Yeah, That's it's it, good. Pike. Is that good? Pike's got it. Good, right? Oh my right. god. Is it, I'll do. This is not as hard He's as I thought. He's definitely going to come over and talk to us now. I can feel it. No, it was cool. so cool. This is a lot of drink that I seem to have <laughs> taken on. That. <laughs> Um, glancing about the chamber, um, you know, there was, I said there was a secondary platform. It didn't have any like doorways to rooms, but there was just a, an upper kind of walkway across the room on both around. ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are about six figures on six. each one. Six that, on each one. Um, that they're all kind of sitting there with wearing leather armor, um, mostly covered by a cloak. And you glance up and you can see underneath at least two of the cloaks what appear to be the shape or outline of a crossbow, just at the ready. Twelve of them? Twelve, twelve men? I just relayed to the group quietly, yes. Uh, packing, yeah. Twelve or so above us all, so, you know. No sudden movements. The music picks up again, Grog, as you're walking over. Yep. The, uh, the next piece is occurring, and you can see now the, uh, well, the previous one had a somewhat kind of frenetic tribal beat. This one has more of a scattered, if I could say percussion jazz sense. Um, it it tends to have multiple changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you could. <laughs> you haven't heard the uh, the jazz timpani before. It's it's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> um, but but it's 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 more of an improvisational piece. You can see where they're each building off of each other, and then one will make a change, and the others will shift with it. And uh, you don't notice this because you really don't care. No. But anybody who had <laughs> musical interests uh, would be able to pick up on this. But you walk up and you see the uh, Goliath uh, woman. Who uh, mo- most of the Goliath women you come across, their their lifestyle leads to a somewhat uh, either very very short kept or very very tightly bound hair, as just the the coarse hair of the Goliaths tends to kind of mat up very thickly um, when living in the wild, such as your tribe did. Um, this Goliath female hair is really well kept, actually, and uh, it's almost shining, which catches you off guard entirely. Um, she's not tattooed, um, and appears to be just in a trance as she's in the process of drumming away, not even looking at the two of her compatriots or any patient. She's just kind of just spacing out and is currently enraptured by the music she's creating. Are there any weapons around her feet or where she's sitting or playing? Make a perception check. <laughs> Three. <laughs> she has very nice boots, and as a man who has made boots in the past, you can acknowledge those are very well-made boots. Me, Grog! (laughs) I I just love the alacrity that Travis Drive goes to 2 3. It's so good. You play good! (laughs) The head kind of slowly turns and the eyes kind of focus for a second, and the kind of dim, kind of snow blind looking pupils gives you a nod. Nice hair! (laughs) Head kind of turns a little to the side. <laughs> I'll be if you tell her she has nice boots, Grog. What? Tell her she has nice boots. Nice boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Big drum hit, and her part of the song comes to a halt. Boots, right. boots. The two other, boots. the two other bits of, of music can kind of like alter but continue the beats, and they go kind of look at her, and she's boot, boots, boots. <laughs> Boots, <laughs> not nice boots. But day. <laughs> <laughs> and I go back to the group. Okay. <laughs> As you walk back to the group, a little dejected, uh, back, since you're the one who's, who's paying attention the most at the moment, you notice the Goliath kind of, she gets a small grin in the side of her face and just continues to go back to the drums. Uh, um, anyway. You charmed her. Look at you. Oh. Nice work to Bergerac. <laughs> but Grog doesn't see it. I'll be your serum, though. <laughs> All right, so, what's the next order of business, guys? Well, is that I conversation kind of, breaking up? I mean, that's what I kind of just planned on doing, is waiting out that conversation. I in, in no way want to interrupt it. Yeah, about 
20 additional minutes go by. Another round is bought at the table, mm -hmm. um, with Korshav still slowly, very carefully sipping the drink that you guys bought for him. Doesn't appear to be slowing, doesn't appear to be breaking. You can keep, keep waiting if you want. I want to get one of those fancy drinks for myself and see what it is. You mean the Korshad drink? Or the yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 the Korshad drinks. Korshad Korsha drinks, okay. I would assume you've already had <laughs> Not this, one of the next this one stuff Korsha. at this point. We've been sharing yeah, it around. Yeah. This is too much for a human being a to lot. handle. Do you wait? Do you go to the bar, or do you call over the? I'll go up to the bar. Mm. Do you, I don't. We don't know his name, do we? The bartender's name. You haven't asked him yet. No. I mean, there are a few bar hands that walk around, but the one that you've been going with, you can go ahead and, and catch his eyes. He goes to the area. Oh, hey, do you need something? Of course, darling. I didn't catch your name. Oh, Wentz. Wentz. Thank you so much. Could I grab another of those um, fabulous five gold drinks there that you brought to our friend? Oh, you want a Shalon's Embrace? Okay. I'm sure about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What is it? It's an acquired taste. It's um, it's made from a very long distilled, like forty-year processing of a of a heavy mint leaf, and that, when it's been very, very thickly fermented, it's mixed in with this sort of very sour port base. It's been repeatedly uh, funneled and and sifted until it's become almost thick in its own right. Um, and that's mixed together with a few other sugars and a bit of a splash of fruit. It's, um, honestly, I think it tastes pretty shitty, but it's what he likes, so. I'm gonna give it a go. All right then, five go. Yeah, I know, right? Goes and makes the drink for you again. Slowly but surely marking little amounts off this party fund, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you make some more money. Um, however, it does not bring in the same, sure. the same <laughs> glass. Brings you in a regular glass. Accent. And wow. you get the sense that maybe the glass that was filled is... I figured it's his own. His own. Yeah. Um, but it's delivered, and it's... Uh, it's different. Yeah. It ha It almost has a weird, like a mushroomy flavor to it. Like you can, like the fermentation that's involved in the processing of this uh, is not the type of alcohol you'd expect. It's, it's a little musty. Hmm. Um, but it's functional. And it has an aftertaste that comes to a very strong mint, kind of an almost like a, like a winter green oh, afterwards. That's nice. so it's, it's very strange. It's like brushing your mixture. teeth, only you get drunk. Oh. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I, in fact, actually, elements of it kind of taste like having orange juice after brushing your teeth. Ow. Mm. Uh -huh. nice. Yeah, it's a little rough at times. What, what are you? Uh, what are you? What have you? What are you learning about the man by I'm what he drinks? Learning that he probably has minty fresh breath. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. that's nice. that's Maybe nice. you should cheers him from afar so he can see you're drinking it. Yeah, but mine's in the in the ugly cup. <laughs> oh, it's in an ugly. They didn't give you the same cup. I yeah, have it's nice his cups. Cup. I mean, he's, it's his cup. Oh, because do you want like a jewel encrusted chalice? Do you have one? <laughs> yeah. Pull it out. I'm like fucking Bed Bath & Beyond in this bitch. <laughs> jewel encrusted chalice. Do you really have a jewel encrusted? Yeah. You do in your fucking. Yeah, bedroom? not anymore. It's getting marked off now. You've been playing D&D for a long time. Sweet, I'm gonna clean guys. that shit out. <laughs> pour it in. The interior of that bag looks like those like Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Yeah, yeah. It's a little weird in there. <laughs> and it it, it, Ooh, it a penny is from seventy two. <laughs> It is a, a, a silver and pewter chalice that contains a number of multicolored gems embedded along the sides, going through the base. This is just gorgeous. It's little John be proud. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> Terry, you drink out of this one. That drink? Yeah, you're the one that bought him the drink. You, you look like you're drinking it too. All right. Pinky out? Yeah. yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hmm. All right. How is it? You like it? I love it. Good. It's terrible. I know. <laughs> I'll just laugh way too loud. <laughs> and then she said to me, "That's not armor." <laughs> About another twenty or so minutes pass in, in the tavern. Oh shit! Um, yeah, a long time. Some, some Let's folks have, have, have entered since then, some have left. I mean, the patrons that are here don't seem to be, there isn't a lot of switching in and out, but it seems like most of the folks here come here fairly often at the end of the day, whether to go about their business or to unwind. Um, but no one seems to be approaching you, no one's crossing your path. Oh, fudge. I'm um, so bored. Can I go over and talk to Wens one more time? Sure. He catches attention, he comes back to the table as you step up and start coming in his direction. Hey, another round, hey? 
Actually, no. Um, I, I give him an, two gold, five gold. I give him five gold. Wow. Oh, all right. You want another one of these? No, I'd rather not. Um, no, I was just wondering. Do you know how long um, Korshad usually hangs out here every night? Um, there he is. Usually, he'd probably be here for another hour or so. Always with the same company or different people. Oh. Varies. Hmm. They've been here most of the afternoon, so. Oh wow. Um, would you mind going over to him and just letting him know that the gentleman who bought him the drink would love a moment of his time? Oh, all right. Terry and Darrington. He needs to know the name. Okay, I will, um, looks like a big old and goes, all right, <clears throat> I will. No rush, but make sure what happens. You see, he noticeably like, gets a little nervous and walks over and as you get back to the table to join your compatriots, mm -hmm. okay, as you're watching, he actually has to kind of like psych himself up. He's like, he approaches and then kind of turns around and then stops for a second and then like goes up to the table again and then kind of stops himself and kind of gets the gumption up this time and goes to the table and you see him talking to Korshad, who at this point has a kind of his hand on the tip of the drink, kind of glances up at him, looks over at the table again. I walk over and put my hand on Tarion's shoulder and just keep eye contact with Korshad. You see a smile creep slowly across Korshad's face. And Puts a hand up and kind of immediately you can watch as when Susan's in the middle of talking and expressing this because well, yes, yes, just kind of quickly darts away. Korshad gives a point to the rest of the guys and the table and you watch his lips say, Excuse me a moment. And then he stands up. Make some room, make some room. Just room just Grog, cut. leave. Uh, no, I, no, no. I, I, I screw with Grog. <laughs> Wow, we are so awkward. We get up and I get up. I keep standing. I, I, I I'm up just as well, gonna keep standing. Uh, oh, oh, oh I, I have to mm -hmm. pee. Do you want to yeah, go pee? Yeah, yeah, let's. Okay. Yeah. As Korshad's walking across the room, you, uh, Vax, you do watch as all the individuals that are on the upper platform all just watch him go through the room and uh, are now seeing the, the table and where they're standing. And the intention is very strongly on what is about to transpire here. So far, just eyes, though. Just yeah, eyes, and I, just I start eyes. paying attention to the room as well with Grog. Okay. So he's, he's the he's big uh, guy, he's head guy. Grand Puba here. Uh, you said walks the his way. the earring? Oh, that was Liam. Okay. Yeah. Korshad mm. walks his way over to the table, and you can see as, as he walks through, occasionally mm. somebody at a nearby table will kind of glance over and see him and kind of stop and watch him. And very quickly to you, you get the sense that he's definitely one of the more powerful figures that seems to come in and out of this establishment. Um, he approaches the edge of the table, still kind of holding the cup from the from the upper lip. There's like a lip at the very edge that he kind of keeps clasped with his fingers as it kind of drifts there in front of him and he occasionally sips from it that way as he walks towards you. Comes up to the edge of the table. Do you mind if I sit here? Oh, please, join us. He sits down places the cup on the table. So. <laughs> my man Wens tells me that you're requesting my presence. Yes. For the sake of this, I'm going to move my hands, but just know my hands are here the whole time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm sure you're familiar with Terry in here. Terry and Darrington of the Darrington family. I have not had the pleasure, but I know of you. And you are familiar with his father as well? Hmm. Quite. We've heard tell <coughs> of, bless um, you. bless you, sorry, recent situations with his family and you. And? And <coughs> we were hoping we could come to What agreement do you have proposed? Well, I don't know if you've heard of Vox Machina. Hmm. We trade in a great many things, information being one, and I am well aware of who you are. 
And I'm well aware that someone like you could find a good use for someone like us. Are you offering your services? Potentially. Hmm. If it could help clear the Darrington name. Hmm. You're not wrong. I myself am the keeper of the deeds. I consider the Darrington estate a uh, long growing loan that is now ripening. You see, our community here thrives on a principle that other syndicates in Alexandria lack. Patience. I have been letting this stew for a very, very long time. So, if you wish to make any sort of dent in this debt, the task will have to be equally monumental. Well, I can make magical items if there's something that you need made or enchanted. Uh, we have other members of the group that do different things. We have a fine tinkerer if you need something made for you. Um, <clears throat> Vexier is an excellent shot if she, she could put on an archery show or something, <laughs> if that would be something worthwhile to you. Um, you know, if that will help ease the debt. I know my family owes you quite a bit of money. 230 gold, 1,000 gold, if we're hearing correctly. You are correct, for the time being. Mm. And m might I inquire, as it is my family's debt, what is the timetable on that? Uh, I mean, will you be coming to collect anytime soon? I have given your father a date of six months to pay this debt. If it is not paid, then the deeds, as agreed upon many years ago, transition to my name entirely. I am not going to kick your family into the street. I am not a terrible man. But I will be possessing all of your belongings. Will they be in any physical danger? No. Not unless they put up a fight. But a man of... Well, I don't know much about you, but... I assume you would much rather have the cash than have to own property and manage it. Both have their uses. All right. So would the Darrington simply work for you? The family, I will happily give them time to find whatever place they can afford to live or leave the city entirely. It is not my business. However, I will be taking over the farms. I will be taking over the business. I will be taking over the estate. Most of the assets within, they will become property of the Myriad. Well, there, that's where I think we could come to an arrangement. Uh, we're not particularly invested in the power structure here. We're here for sentimental reasons. The estate, and just enough property to maintain a modest comfortability. We don't. We don't really care what happens to the fortune so long as your family's taken care of. Yes, I guess. You keep your house, you keep your things, you keep a little bit of property to manage. Sure. What do you think? Well. I mean, they did make this bed. Y y are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm suggesting to you that maybe it is not your job to save your family's power and allow them to, to keep going as the way they have, but just to give them enough that even if they, uh, that they can continue with reasonable means. Maybe not necessarily living the life that they were living before, but living far more comfortably than. Even that would be a step up, but it seems like we would have to do something in, in order just to earn that much. Oh, I imagine so. It's just there's a difference between saving everything and saving enough to keep them comfortable. So if I'm to understand you correctly, you are willing to offer a service to us. Possibly. 
and in exchange, we would still be taking the land-based assets from the Darrington name, other than the estate, and enough means to live comfortably. And enough income property for them to be relatively comfortable. Reasonably comfortable. I'm sure we could take a look at the assets and come to a very, very reasonable arrangement. And you, in turn, well, we could have a discussion about what that would be worth to you. I have no interest in making an arrangement that doesn't please you. We're only here, again, for sentimental reasons. We are not invested beyond that. Make a persuasion check. Please, God, you've been terrible today. Yeah, um, uh, 15. Yes. Comfortable living is a relative thing. True. To maintain my comfort of living, well, your estate is but a drop in the bucket. But, and I mean no offense, as he looks about the rest of you, comfortable living for some of you, well, that could be as much as my drink would cost. My family would require their main property and all <clears throat> residential rental uh, property. That, that is not a deal. The residential and the farm territory is to become mine. I would leave for them your estate and enough gold to live a comparably comfortable lifestyle than living on the street for years to come. They could then strike out on their own, start a new fortune if they wish. Perhaps land barony was not their strong suit. You seem to have found other pursuits. Maybe you could lead them in a new path. And past that point, they would be in no debt to you. Past that point, and a task done in our favor by the famed Vox Machina. Maybe. Would they get to com <clears throat> would they get to maintain possession of their personal property, artwork, statues? Everything clothing. that remains within the estate, home itself, would be yours to keep. The rest is mine. And what is this task? Hmm. Roughly 120 miles east of here lies a sinkhole that has swallowed the core of the platinum mines of Herethis a few months back. Now those mines are a very lucrative point of business for my employers. And every time we've sent scouts to inspect the source of this erosion, none have returned. Many very capable and proven men, unheard again. One of our greatest diviners has since spoken of a powerful force within this mine. Ancient, birthed improperly, that now seems to grow more and more mad. We're at a loss, so we've put out a contract or two, but nothing has taken a bite yet. If you were to go to this mine, find this entity that has ruined our mining operation there, return with proof of its demise, and we confirm its destruction, I will consider our task complete. We'll also need some operating capital for this. This sounds dangerous, so we will take the job, but we will need to also charge a very, very reasonable fee, I think, on top of this. That is entirely understood. And we'll keep track of each fee and we'll deduct it from the materials in the Darrington Estate. If we take care of this for you, <coughs> it does seem like a monumental task. It may not be, but it would seem to be something of your uh, skill set. From what we've learned, ancient beings tend to be quite powerful. Hmm. <clears throat> we would ask that you 
You don't slander the Darrington name. That when they stay in their estate, everyone believes they are still the Darringtons, as they have always been. I would agree to that. I have no interest in your family's public image. I believe that damage has been done well enough on your own. Yes. Are you sure you don't have a cloak I could just enchant and then we could call it square? <laughs> he takes another sip from his drink. When all of this is said and done, Tyrion, we'll be in contact. I think there is much business we could do in the future. All right. I suppose we have no choice. We do. Hmm. There's always a choice, dear. You can marry the girl, or we could go kill an ancient being. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Yeah. All right. Um. <clears throat> do we need to decide at this moment? It seems like we do. We will also need all, all the information you have on this creature in the mines, and if you have anybody who has access to that, just so we can know the what we're getting into. The Diviner would be wonderful to speak to. The information I've given you is what the Diviner has found. Hmm? Huh. I'm not going to ask you all to risk your lives for my shitty family, so I will pursue this matter on my own if I have to. Good, yeah, you're going to go by yourself Well, I would hire a couple of people to come with me, but if you'd like to accompany me, I mean, I'd, I'd be okay with that too. We could watch you do it, it'd be yeah, pretty funny. Yeah, we'll spot you and, and it's then my, send you in Well, I mean, I, I, you've taught me a lot, so maybe I could, do, I could do it. I think you could. You won't find anybody as good as us. Of course yeah. not. You are very so. skilled in hiring talented mercenaries. That might be yeah. their strongest I suit. Am, I am one for two on that count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have another mercenary at our, at our back if we need. That's, That's true. Very fair. You're already one up. Hmm. Should we vote on it then? Grog, do you want to go kill something big and scary? Yes. Pike, are you drunk? I think you should marry whoever you want. <laughs> So that's what I think we should do. Yes, yay. I vote yay. <laughs> Twinsies? Always have your back, dear. Oh, Vax isn't here. Hey, Vax. Mm. You want to go help me save my family by risking our lives in almost certain death? Uh, what does that entail? We are. Uh... I'll take it as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keelith? Vax says yes. And so do I. Aye. Science bro? Vex says yes, and I am <laughs> so in the mood to kill something. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. we've all risked our lives for each other at one point and another, so um, it's your turn, Terry. That's right. Welcome to the family. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this stuff burns. Cheers. 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 <laughs> And this, and, and this whole conversation he's had in his mouth covered, he takes his fingers away from his mouth and takes a drink. Could we have an accord? Picks his drink up and clinks it. Return when the deed is done. Slaps the table and stands up and walks back. And yet this, this point this point that you notice that like the table's nearby, everyone's been kind of just quietly watching in on this. And as soon as he leaves, they're like, they go back to their business and drinking. Everyone on the count of three, we're going to stand up very quickly. Okay, okay. One. Why? Okay. Two. Wait. Wait. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> three. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I went around you guys like. Half <laughs> 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 the, the folks get startled by it. Oh. Uh, the music's still going. Um. <laughs> on the way out, can I grab <laughs> Wend again out. one last time? Hi, hi. Um, most of the people here, are they local patrons or do they come from all over? M most of them are uh, local right. and come from all over. Great, thank you. Sorry. It's all I needed. Well, just serve the drinks, miss. Can I make my way back over to the players? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's sitting there. Okay. Can I have your name? <laughs> <It's not working. laughs> 
can I have your name? As she kills you, she's like, her head slowly turns over and he goes, Camilla! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and I leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, oh, we're gonna go ahead and take a break. Oh. Yeah. Rest and re- we're back here in a minute, guys. Yay. See if this next bit of interesting fun. To Camilla. All right, guys. So we have uh, our tonight's um, giveaway. This awesome Ooh. butternut wood. Butternut. 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 Nice tray. Giveaway for our friends at. Exactly. Add one wood. Uh, come on over. Jump into the Twitch chat to enter the possibility to win this. The word for the night is myriad. That is M Y R I A D. If you don't know, look it up on Google. You'll, you'll win it if you spell it right. Exactly. <laughs> spelling challenge. Butter, butter not up or shut up with your myriad spelling. All right, guys. We're back here in a few minutes. See you in a second. <laughs>
Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome back to Critical Role, which uh, timing works out interesting sometimes. Uh, yeah, welcome back to the game. Um, for the break, we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. So, no, she didn't hear any of that. There is a time. Oh, nice. Thanks. So, yeah. pretty solid. As you, as you guys have uh, found your way out of what seems to be this strange subterranean bar beneath the, the Grumpy Lily. Um, you've agreed to, at least at the time being, uh, to make your way east to this uh, this mine, which currently seems to be under the, uh, what's it called, the Platinum Mines of Herephus. Um, and and Her Herephus, uh, you know. Herephus. Um, which, which you, Tarion, understand. Herephus is a, uh, a region, a regional forest uh, area over there, the Herephus Wood. And about 120 miles east, you guys decide what's what's your best means of travel. How do you intend to get there? Um, you have to misty, misty there, right? Because you don't know any trees in the area. I could scry <laughs> on the area if I knew enough about it. Oh, we could, if we miss you there, we could also camp for the night. And yeah, we need to camp morning. for the night because we need to rest and get misty our now, shit back. Misty now, camp there. Yeah. That's fine. It's 120 miles, so it's not that. It's not terribly far. Yeah, we we still as, have as, as far as the mist fly. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. I, I mean, yeah. I'm pretty. Let's fresh. call that shit. <laughs> we can misty there, camp for the night. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All Rewind. the Latin, by the way, because I totally forgot. We do have a winner in the chat room. I oh, chat room winner. Oh, yeah. uh, B Solis 8926. B Solis 8926. You won the uh, yeah. giveaway. Yeah. Uh, got the Nutter Butter box. Yeah, uh, Denova will contact you for your information uh, to give a chip to you. So congratulations. All right. So, what do you guys? What are you thinking about for travel? This just doing the Don't the with wind walk. Gas. Uh, uh, all right. Well, um, before we leave, is there any type of research we should potentially do? No. Nope. Wanna... Headlong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we'd be researching. The guy who sent us on the mission doesn't even know what it is. It's not even nearby, so it's not like we could ask people here what the the mine is like. It's 120 miles away. Yep. The mine's here. Works this there, just lives in the village. This is right up our alley. Like this is literally what we've been training for our whole lives. I mean, you know, I, I, just in case there's like maybe some ancient deity that rules over the forest of Herethus, and you know, some sort of goddess. Or, I know. I mean, ah, fuck it. We, let's go. I mean, do we know anything? <laughs> Have yep, we ever heard about the, the woods of Herethus or the have Latin you, mines you guys of Herethus? You have. Yeah. I mean, and and the, it's, it, the, the woods that kind of lead into this, this small, rocky, it's, it's almost too small to be a mountain range, the more just like large, rocky hills. Um, but the, there's no historical significance to the location that you know of. Go make a history check. Roll high. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 21. 21. Yeah, that's good. Um, you do know a number of the large-scale battles that took place towards the end of the Age of Arcanum took place on Wildmount. In fact, uh, Zorhas, oh, the, the no. other kingdom that we were discussing before, um, is largely a badlands, barren landscape, because that was where the final battle between the Betrayer Gods uh, and the the prime deities took place, and the sheer volume of, of or the sheer intensity of that battle lay waste to the landscape there. So you have, um, you have the, the Dwindalian Empire and the whole western side of uh, of Wildmount, which is fairly lush and, and and functional. And then where the Jorhas Kingdom is, and that whole eastern side of the continent, a lot of it's just like barren, cracked, destroyed. Um, but you do know that that the uh, the Herithis, um the name at least stems from uh, a hero that fell in a battle long ago. You can't recall the specific details of it, but there is some some significance to the title, or at least the location there, to something ancient and old that may have may have to deal with this sort of this this, this time period of of entities battling gods. It's the best you can make out. The, the mines are well known. The, like the, the the platinum mines are well known. They're 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 not well attended. They're not like a public space, and they're definitely under the control of a number of uh, companies that are shadow corporations under the control of the myriad. So you can see where the connection, and the necessity for it to be reopened again, is important. Platinum is not a very common metal. 
So. Anything we should be worried about? Gods attacking us? Nope. Mm. That's about it. Try a run? Oh, man. No, but really, like, that's where the battles took place, huh? So this ancient being could be from potentially. Or it could not be. Yeah, that was yeah. forever. Whatever it is, ago. it's not leaving the mine. All right. I mean, we're running off on the lark, but mm. we've raked ourselves in the faces before. Yeah, if we die, we die. Oh God, yeah. I don't want to die. We're not going well, to no die. Well, no one wants to die. Yeah. Oh, once again, don't say it, Keyleth. Do not fucking no, say don't it. Don't say it. You can think it, but don't say no, it. Don't encamp that shit. Think it don't really say it about all of us and doom us to your fate. Goldfish, mother. Duty. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Better. <laughs> before we go. Was there something you wanted to tell the drow woman? Oh, shit. I mean. Hmm? I mean, if we're talking about what we were talking about before, I don't think it's a good idea. What? If. If you want to go and find him, us, and say hi. That's a different story, but. I would like to point out that this same person you are so adamantly protecting from our scrying or our spying or our finding yeah. is the same person who shit in the middle of a temple so that he could watch Pike. Well, A, he did that, not us, and B, we were all very much friends and happy with each other when he did that, and he is not happy with us. Mm. And it's not exactly the same thing, dear. But if you want to go with me and find him and check in and say hello, I'd be very happy to do that with you. But to send the woman who threw our friend drugged over the back of a horse and took him off to his family, I don't really want to send her after Scanlan to look in on him or follow him or watch him or anything him. It didn't sound like his father wanted him dragged back on the back of a horse, and it happened anyway. She doesn't seem very trustworthy to me. Yeah, she's cool, so what? I just realized I have the other half of the stone, the, the traveling stone. Yeah? That we gave Scanlan. Yeah. I, I could pop in on him anytime I want. Or he could pop in on you anytime. Yeah. Really? And he hasn't. If he has it still. Yeah, he, maybe he threw it into the maybe ocean he for all we knew. Oh, that would suck, because he'd would be, be in the ocean. He would die. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be really, really shit if he did it that. It would be a massively dickish move. That what was an very interesting smart use of the stone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow, that happened. That's, if they Dead. missed that high five and straight you in your to face. my face. No. Mm okay. Anyway, my point still stands. <laughs> uh, once we wrap up here, if you want to go find him, I will go with you. And do what? Convince him to come back? No. See if he's okay. Ask him how his year has been. Yeah, basically. What about what about just a location and she has to stay unseen? You know, like I know Keyleth can scry and stuff, but you could make her walk first into the mines. Yeah, mm. I, yeah. You didn't want me to even scry on him, and now we're talking about just popping in on him. I yeah, feel like there's a weird. Crossing that was a year and... ago. I'm, I'm over that sentiment. Oh, just, oh man, yeah. dog. Yep. <laughs> you guilted me very hard on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, You made me feel kind of this shitty. This is grog evolved. <laughs> uh, 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 no, you kind awakened. of got it right. Just go with it. Exalted? Exalted, Exalted Absorbed. Yeah. Yeah. Absorbed. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. Exfoliated. You, you done been woked. <laughs> woked. Mm hmm. He is, so, a, he is a look, bit of a mirror. He looks very so woke. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're very, woke. very woke. No, but seriously, what are we quite doing? Ripped. <laughs> quite ripped. I don't think ripped. we use that mercenary to walk into a mine. I'm not sending it <coughs> to a death. I am perfectly content to hold on to that ship for as long yeah. as we need. Let's continue to We don't make it out of the mine. for a rainy day. We don't need to punch that ticket now. So should we at least ask her to stay in town <clears throat> for a to-be-determined mission? Later. Well, I think she needs to like, keep up her employment, right? Yeah. We, should be right. we can give her a little money to keep around, yeah. like a retainer. No. I'll yeah, give. I could give her a little money. I might need her. She was employed through. Uh, she's a. She's reachable through employment. We can just find out how to reach her when we. Oh yeah, that one. 
she might be gone. You have to be able to hire her. Why don't you pay? So there's a there's a system. Yeah. How we have no idea how she was hired we, in the first place. We uh, know Aska how to hire. Her. Her. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to her. Yeah. yeah. And no one has heard from him at all over the course of the year. Who? Oh well, I mean, he writes me all the time, but outside what? of that. What? Really? Yeah. No, none of you. Scanlan does. She's mm. messing with you. That was very mean. <laughs> you promised you'd keep that secret. She has a mean streak. I have so many secrets to keep, dear. I know. So, so many. many. I'm mad for an in, 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 in a long time. I know one um. of them. When she farts, it sounds like a duck. It really does. That's kind of cute. Yeah. 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 We go for <laughs> Uh, all right, you go ahead and you find the uh, awkwardly, and we're going to yell imposter. <laughs> Drow. Kareen. All right, Kareen. so you find, you find Kareen. She's, uh, That's how we know. Uh, she lets you know that she was just around the corner oh where the God. estate was and lets you know where to find her. And there's a. Uh, uh, What's the password? It's, it's kind of like, a, like, like an open tent lounge area. Um, she's just currently drinking water and eating a little bit of dried meat. And as you approach, she kind of stands up. Uh, she still has her illusion on, she still has her pale skin. You get the sense that, you know. Drow in general or not. They only have the easiest time walking through large uh, societal establishments. Ah, you returned. Um, so, what have you need of? We have no mission of, at this moment, but we may call on you shortly after we return. Very well. Can we find you here or will you be gone? I have no interest in staying in this city in particular. I generally uh, prefer to stay around Vashlau. Where is that? Vashla. It's to the uh, the west of here, about uh, 25 miles southeast of uh, Port de Mali. Port de Mali. If you wish to contact me, you can send a missive to uh, Vashla, or if you have access to a practitioner of the arcane arts, perhaps a sending would be sufficient. Sending, okay. All Definitely. Right. All right. Well, stand by. We'll call you. Thank you for your time, and <laughs> we'll be in touch. Very well. It was just business. Sorry about your horse. Yeah, fair trade. <laughs> she gets up and gathers her little satchel over the side of her shoulder. And until we meet again, and she nods and then just walks out into the darkness of the night. Kill her. Never to be heard from again, because we'll forget that we have that connection. I slowly draw my gun. <laughs> Wait till she's just oh. 10 meters out. Terrible. <laughs> 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 um, all right, so what are you guys doing? You're... That's Misty Step, gonna trying to kill this. Are we going to do a Misty Step tonight, and then that way we can cover everything, morning. yeah, and then go in and Yeah, what time is it? We're, uh, you're in the evening now. Okay. You're, 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 Misty Step now, so you can yeah, talk about in the morning. Yeah, Misty yeah, Step yeah, yeah. is a very different spell. We're going to oh, sorry, wind sorry. Walk. Wind walk. Wind walk. We go walk. thirty feet. This is because. Cool. All right. Tight, tight. We are going to be wind talkers. Feet. Yes. Wind All right. So you guys, yeah. you guys go ahead and you transform into parts. your your misty forms uh, via the wind walk spell and begin making your way to the east, towards the Herifus Wood. Um, the travel's pretty rapid. Uh, it's, a, it's a clear sky. Uh, the moon's still pretty. I mean, it's only been a few days since the last full moon when you guys had the uh, the ritual up at the top of the the mountains, for the trickfoot. So it's so it's very easy to kind of see the the details, especially those of, of, of keen vision. Um, rather rapidly, you find yourself to the outskirts of the Herthus Forest, um, and. After doing a couple of passes overhead, you can see there is a portion of the forest that is open, and there you can see there are a couple of stone towers set up. There appear to be large ropes and cables uh, fastened at the edges of what looks to be a large uh, circular ravine, some sort of a, a, a an entry port, a very, very large hole in the ground. And as you approach and get closer, you can see that while there are two standing towers, there appear to be remnants of two other towers that have fallen in. <laughs> and looking at some of the cables and the way that some of the equipment is set up, it appears that this sinkhole that he spoke of that consumed a portion of this entryway, whether it be a quake or something, oh, a lot of the the structure 
that was placed around the outside of the mine has fallen in and is precariously being held, either dangling within the inside by cable work or has just crumpled somewhere at the bottom of this abyssal hole you see before you. Like a, like a uh, yeah. The, what do you mean by a, can you just by say describe abyssal? Hole, I mean, they, abyssal I, I, that's, a, that's a descriptive way of saying it is pitch black from this distance. You cannot see anything this past is the dark top. and deep. It is there's no bottom that, that can spot. be seen. Abyssal. Yeah. And it's yeah. connected to the abyssal plane. It is connected. It, it is actually a doorway to the abyss. Uh-huh. <laughs> do we have the film? The hey guys, Orcus tonight. <laughs> uh, do we have any the finale. something for everyone? Do we have any glow sticks so we can throw in and watch fall to the? Yes. Yeah. We actually do. We can do. I have a oh, we do. <laughs> have you guys transitioned back to your physical form oh, to have yeah. this conversation? Sure. Well, we can slow down. I would. I would actually. I, if we're doing our little circle, I would say that like that. We don't, a little bit of a distance. Yeah, I don't want to camp right gonna, next to you. No, the seems like, yeah. I'm going straight down. Seems like About half a mile time. away. Uh, I'm so. looking for cooties around the outside. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cooties. Make perception check. Cooties. Oh. oh. That's all right. Did you get it? Did you get it? Get it? You get it? No, he's right here. Just missed. Oh, Dang it. 24. You can't get him with a paper 20. towel. Okay. I'm excited about this point. It was um, crazy obnoxious. You, you start coasting over the edge, and you can see you can see um, there are broken carts and crates. Um, you can see the remains of what seem to be a couple of humanoid bodies, mm. mostly picked away to the point where there's just kind of slightly pinkish bone from whatever dried bits of muscle or blood that remained. The rest of the flesh and organs pulled from or dissolved. You're not sure. What? Um, I think a cure wounds, a light cure wounds. Can we talk to dead? Yeah. Can we dead? Dead, 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 can dead talk? talk to dead. Mm. They don't mm-hmm. talk back, but yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> oh right. yeah, you can't. Let's talk that. to dead. Find out we what killed him. Before we go we in, we haven't materialized yet, have we? Oh. Did we? Ah. Were, were he still? Yeah, we'll, you we'll still land like a little right? bit away. We didn't land yet, right? Let's Not land yet. a little bit away. Getting okay. some Baldur's Gate vibes here, man. Yeah, so, no. so you land about mm. half a mile out. Yeah. You guys transition back to your physical forms. <laughs> Vax shares the information of what he spotted. Where, was the bodies on top or were the bodies down below? On the edges, right? Uh, they're on the edges. Yeah. If you, and when you mean like, saw, like three bodies. seared, like acid or like heat? Blackened? It's like white and pink bone. Like just whatever flesh was on there has been picked off. So do you like want to say something was eating them? <laughs> can, can we can we speak yeah. with the dead? Is that is that yeah, available? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pike can do Pike that. Pike can do Why that. Why don't you yeah. two, Misty, there, or a few of us, if somebody start setting up tent uh, the I'll camp for with, tonight? I'll go with Pike, and we can stealth in. I'll start setting up camp. You can still Misty. We're still Mistyable. You can just fly in, talk to them, and fly back out. She can't talk to him as a Misty. No, I mean, but in land and then. Oh, okay. And then, well, I'll cast past anyway, so we'll just okay. Have to go. Okay. 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 So I do that. All right. So, is it just you, Pike, who's going with you? And me. Uh, I'm the two already of you. standing by the bodies. Yeah. All right, so you go back oh, to the bodies. Not, oh, okay, you're still yeah, out yeah. there? No, no, I'll. All right, well, so, we're, okay. so, the th- so the three of you are turning back there to Mist and making your way back toward yeah, the entrance. Yeah, I'm on my way. Let's do it. I'm going, I'm going to set up the tanks. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm going to go. Yeah. That's all. You guys land yeah. I used to have a spirit. near the edge of this, this crumpled rock, and you see where the ground itself was kind of curled in and collapsed inward. And uh, there are a number of cables or ropes that go across various large structures, the, the, the stone towers that sit at the edge of this opening. You can see there's tension on these ropes, and either the rope's going to snap at some point as the weather gets harsher over here, or the rock is going to crumble in if the ground mm-hmm. keeps eroding. You're not sure if it's done or if it's a slow crawling thing. Mm-hmm. There before you, you see a body. Um, you can see elements of, of clothing kind of torn and uh, dried, crusted with old blood. Um, you can see like a boot that is kind of left off to the side. The, the foot's been removed, but there is, it looks like the edge of it has been kind of torn and ripped a bit. Um, the skeleton has been picked clean. Okay, we only see the one body? There's uh, there are three bodies around the whole exterior, but this, you've landed next to one. When you say okay. picked clean, do they look like they've been chewed upon? Make an investigation check. Yeah. Uh, okay. burger, burger, it's fine. Uh, 18. Looking at the bones, you can see signs of what appear to be scratches or grooves across the bones, but the it's interesting. There's a lot of the the bones have a very smooth texture to them. You're used to seeing very porous, 
but it looks like elements of the bone have been kind of melted slightly. Oh, God. Um, slimes, jellies. Uh, uh. All right. I'm going to get my broom ready. Okay. And while Pike is doing her ritual, I'm just going to keep in hand on her that if anything happens, then I can just take off with her in tow. Okay. So, Pike, you're casting Speak with the Dead? Yes. Fuck. All right. Get him? No. It's easy enough for you to cast. It's a quick um, ritual to complete. You go ahead and you, just, you burn some incense. Okay, I get three questions. Oh, right, right, right. What did this to you? And uh, at which point the, the skeleton, which is face down on the ground, by the way, um, the, <laughs> the, like, the, the skull kind of <laughs> oh, creepy. creaks up and like looks over, like, turns around and kind of faces you as it kind of reaches, <laughs> like curls upward, almost like a uh, like a uh, an upward dog. Like downward. Oh, what is that called? Downward oh, cool. dog. Oh, uh, downward upward dog. position, but the head's turned completely around and curled up in your. Oh, I get down close. Creepy, creepy. Flip it over. It flips over on yeah. its back, and the head. Turns back around. To <laughs> Sorry. We got five questions. Five, five questions. Five questions. Five. Um, good day, sir. It's not a good day for you. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good start. <laughs> what happened you to you? Something in the mines we found. <laughs> What did the skittering beasts look like? Oh, in my drink. <laughs> Didn't get him at full way. Yeah, he's like dead. <gasps> Large, hard carapaces, pincers, many legs. It's like spiders. Or. Many legs. I mean, that could be a glabrezu, oh, which fucking killed you the first no. time. No. They had pinched their Yeah, but that's really big. I don't um, know. Skittering beasts? Is there anyone else alive? Is there. Did anything work against it? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Ooh. Was there anything that you guys could tell of, of your knowledge? Did anything seem to damage it or work against it? It seems confused by what you're referring to. The skittering creature or the... Oh, the skittering creature or the big thing? The skittering I creatures? I guess. The big thing, either. Yeah. But both, because we still have. Yeah. Do we have any questions? Against them. Against them. Against, against them. them. Against the skittering. Yeah. Skittering yeah. creatures. The skittering creatures we just ran. I didn't look to see. Mm. That's already three questions. Mm. Okay. Shit. Um. How big were the creatures? They were rather large. Maybe eight foot end to end. Oh. They burrow, they spread, but they were awoken by the smaller. 
case of his spit? I didn't hear. Something like about his spit. Is, what did you say? What, he's dead. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? You gather what he said was. <laughs> um, no, they, uh, the, the skitterers, they, uh, they, they, they bite, they spit, um, but they were awakened by the smaller one. Smaller one? What? Wait, it's bit. What's, up, what's the smaller up? one? Yeah, what the fuck is that? What can you tell us about the smaller one? Yeah. They spit. Maybe acid. Like probably acid. Yeah, if they, if they yeah, were probably. all melty. Yeah, yeah. If they're smooth. It means they're they were just like. Is, is there anything that you can tell us about the smaller one? It was like a baby. Baby. It was like a baby. And it cried out. And everything fell around us. I barely made it out. But the skitterers found me. Oh and then the enchantment leaves the dead body, the skull. Falls to rest, the bones now motionless in the so ground. You can emit a cry that shakes, shakes everything. Shakes the walls. Um, Mandrake. I would say Marisha. Mitch. Well, I guess you. To sound like, yeah, anything we. I'd say this would be a, a nature. We'll check? say a nature check for both you and Vex. Would I have an advantage with my like little book? Mm, yeah. we we not for this in particular. Maybe like creature okay. back in still Yeah, I don't think that's what it is. Men, and we have <laughs> tales of mandrakes, and they <laughs> scream. Okay. Yeah, no. did this no, sound no, like, did no. the thing with the pincer sound like something we fought, though? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's not something you've encountered I mean, before, necessarily. I mean, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the best thing I've ever heard. 19. 19, okay. We're going in. Vex? Nature check? Yeah. <laughs> Do I get advantage because I'm standing in the woods? Just say the number. Uh, six. Six, six. six. <laughs> sometimes right. you'll you know you're standing in the woods. <laughs> you, Even you will you, sometimes. You, you've heard, you, you've you've heard joke, of a creature that, that, that does exist in subterranean and sometimes forested areas. Um, and forested areas referred to as an onkeg. A what? An onkeg. An onkeg? An onkeg. Uh, the, they, they, they generally tend to snatch cattle and uh, beasts of burden in the night. They they they're large and insect-like. They spit a sort of an acidic fluid. Um, some of the things this 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 corpse is described makes you think of that. Um, Isn't that what our bug juice is made of? Your bug juice is made of sand cake, sand which is cousin. a desert-based variant of that creature. Ah. Wow. So we are gonna I wonder if we could like okay. sprinkle it around us and they won't bother us because we'll smell like their brethren. I ain't wasting that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's an idea. It is. So they snatch cattle. So we should Spinacid. all be cows. So we should all be cows. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you guys, perfect honor of opportunity. Oh, it's Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday! Uh, if only oh, the person who can cast the spell wasn't in your party anymore, oh. he's oh. elsewhere in the world right oh, now. That asshole. We just talked to him. Here's the dead body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So what are you guys doing? Just We're gonna rest for the night. Yes. Have a very nice, yeah. nice camp. Set and up. then go in there Hero's first feast. light. Can I take? Yes, we definitely should have a hero's feast. Yeah, let's have a hero's feast. Which, okay, hang on. Let me let me check here. We don't need it. Baby. I can do a hero's feast. What's the baby? Protection from acid would probably be very. So what you say? Yes. Hang on, but my wind wall. I already wind walked, so I can do a hero's feast at a higher level. It's probably not this. Um. Down. All right. I also want to do a fifth level. Commune with nature. Okay. <coughs> Fifth level, commune with nature. What should I ask? What should I ask that we don't already know? I mean, is there any nature down there? It's a mine. It's all rock. How many of them, maybe? Well, I can, like, kind of see in, like, a three, How deep two, three mile How deep does the hole go? I kind of was thinking that. How deep does the hole go? And how, maybe can yeah. we figure out how many of them are Instantly down there? Instantly gain knowledge of up to three facts of your choice about any of the following subjects as they relate to the area. Sports terrain, bodies of water, 
prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or peoples, yeah. powerful celestials, fae, fiends, elementals, or undead, Fae. influence from other planes of existence or buildings. Yeah? Okay. Choose three of those. First and foremost, influences from other planes of existence. Okay, so as you focus and commune with Good nature, call. the plants kind of speak to you in this series of images and thoughts that essentially get the idea across to you that there is something uh, planar involved here, but it's very old and long dormant, recently awoken. Okay. Planar. Uh, not. Uh, long dormant. Long dormant. Recently awoken. Dormant. And what have you? <laughs> Mr. It's a fucking baby ancient oh, dragon. Okay. okay. Stoked. So planer. something planer. Interesting. Shared a moment. Send us to like a fetal day. Two more questions. Yeah, that was like our very first, first, first fight. Do we do how? Oh, we story. can't do how deep is the mine? No. Yeah. Um, um. No, I can't. That's can. a terrain, terrain question. Yeah, you could. So yeah. terrain. Yeah. How how deep does this mine go? Maybe you can ask where the uh, the thing is, is in the mine. I think I can. Right? Hmm. Can I like sense the location of where? You can ask whereabouts this thing is. Hmm. Yeah. That's a good okay. question. Um, the nature tells you the sinkhole goes down for about a quarter mile. Ooh, oh, shit. And it lies at the very bottom. Mm. It's straight down? It's just straight down at the bottom of That's it? It's 400 meters, it's y'all. It's the meteor and the stars. So no it's, like, it's like this, and then the little baby thing Apparently, at the bottom, yeah. and then... The whole ground just kind of collapsed inward. Meters. I don't think it's a baby. Um, and the entity lies at the bottom. Those, uh, you can just jump. We're, yeah, we're like gods. Yeah, we're gods. <laughs> we're golden gods. I'm good. Um, uh, and it's a little bit more than a thousand less, feet. Yeah, yeah. Then you might well, survive that meters. one. Well, only if you turn into a goldfish and now fall I know. onto the ground. It's so fine. you got one more. No, I know Looney Tune physics doesn't work <laughs> in this world. Terrain. <laughs> Always go Earth Elemental. Yeah. <laughs> Always go Earth Elemental. Always key to your. What's our last question? What if she turns uh, from something, something from another plane. We know it's 400 mm-hmm. meters down. It lies at the bottom. How many, how many of these creatures are, yeah. are there? Yeah, of the um, of the, the, of yeah. the crawly ones. Guys, yeah. yeah. Can I can I get onk a eggs? Can I get a sense of how many and whereabouts the onk eggs are? Uh, one of the two. I how can many? do. Uh, how what, many what are onk eggs? Are they fiends or are they? They're, Beasts, uh, they probably. are big. Like how steroids. many is more They're giant? Where? Aberrations. Yeah. How many? Yeah, because if there's like hundreds, then that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Then this is a stealth mission. They are monstrosities. Monstrosities. And that's kind of what they look like right there. There it is. Oh! Holy oh. moly! I love Starship Troopers. So I'm excited. Giant earwigs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're about to fight some big uh, armored vaginas. I would love to know how many. Uh, all right, how many, how, about it's how afraid. many, do I know about how many there are? It's afraid. Uh, Just uh, sensing their, their so skittering good. movements under the surface. Um, using the, the nature's essence to let you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of about close to 100. Oh, shit. Thru- oh, throughout oh, throughout oh, the I network f- of caves. Because this is like a three mile radius, right? Yeah, and so this is like oh, spread okay. out amongst what would essentially oh. be like an under, a subterranean anthill of right. these right. onkegs. So um, there's uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Metropolis. We're going to need a fast exit. the surface. <laughs> I'm David Attenborough. So he wants us to take care of what the problem was. <laughs> 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 He's worried. Well, the ancient thing is a lot. So we just lot. gotta kill the, the big boss. The big Here boss at the bottom. One little baby big boss. The boss baby. We gotta kill the boss baby. We gotta kill the boss Alec so How did we like? did we understand correctly that it's it's the baby that cried out is the is the big monster the big boss? It seems to be the source of where all this started. Okay, and that's the thing that woke up the skitterers, or at least brought them to start attacking the surface. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like there's a big boss and then there's skitterers and then there's also little babies that cry out. You don't know. Just this just is all the information you have, but, yep. but uh, everyone speaks about. Wait, this, did we know this. why the baby woke up? Nope. What woke the well, baby? We don't no, know that. We yet. don't know what woke up should the we baby. Ask that. Okay. Maybe we should talk to another dead person. Nah. No. I don't think they'll. I don't know. think they'll know. They're like miners. The, yeah. Not miners. Did something in the mine that awoke it. 
Yeah. And we can, I mean, like, redo it. Mining. I think anybody who was there who saw it probably died at the center of it. What? Yeah. I don't think I died. We're, sorry, we're, we're trying to remember trying the, to, very to the very first game of D&D we ever played. And yeah. yeah, the floating baby was, head. Yeah, the was, Keyleth yeah, twins Grog were there. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that was a, uh, a, what was essentially a, a dead or, like, stillborn deity. Like or a, a, a demigod, essentially yeah. in its own pocket plane. So does it doesn't have anything. There are there are to yeah. do with this. this really like, good. Roll religion check. No, do it. Do it. I'm do bad it. at do this. It. It's okay. I, 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 I'm religious. Yeah. He's Stop. religious. Yeah. If you guys want, we were having this conversation. Can you can make, make make a religion. Check. Yes. Luck of the day. Yes. Oh, let me. Natural twenty. Are you serious? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. oh don't fucking. No, I'm trying <laughs> to make myself look it. it out. Jeez. I got a nineteen. <gasps> Shut up! Shut up! She really did. Yep. Good job. It's Good. like Run, Run Lola, Lola Run, too. where she's doing the roulette. You can and just like <laughs> Vata Mani, Vata, Vata Famish. Vata <laughs> okay. I um, mean, you, you recall the while back that you 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 battled with that that entity that um, uh, what was it called? Chrysa Thule. That's right. Um, How? 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 No. This is this is all I do with my free time, guys. <laughs> Make up shit for fun. Um, but that was not tiny. That was a very large entity. Yeah. Like, like to the point where you remember there was like a twenty foot wide well and a giant, like fleshy baby arm that slapped out and crawled it yeah. out, kind of Akira yeah. style. Um, they won't keep saying small that. on this one, so you don't know if okay. maybe related in some way, but you're not entirely certain. It's, it doesn't appear to be the same kind of thing necessarily. Okay. Not by the descriptor you've heard. Okay. We're Corpse good. call it a small one, We're right? Guys. They call it a small one. We're super, super We're good. Strong. We've killed ancient okay. We still got a camp for the night, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, we're camping. Yep. Before but we, we should camp in the trees, y'all, not in the ground. How the trees? In case the things come up out. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, the, the, the thick forest um, all around. The Herithis surrounds the, uh, the mine. Great. Oh, man. I make a kind of like druid craft, like I'm some cool um, web hammocks. I mean, you can. I mean, we've gone to all this trouble, but like, if you want to act through it, I mean, this is just what we've been doing. Look, I really like elaborate tree houses. No, I understand. I respect the art form. I can have a road bridge here. Hammock man. All right. We'll say druid craft, which is a very localized and cantrip based magic. You could, over the next couple hours, craft a single web hammock. Oh. <laughs> it's a cantrip, yo! I'll pass. Okay. Uh, what about we'll like just a. just sleep <laughs> with the ones we have. A, a third grade. Very diorama. nice rope bed. Kind of, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, it, this is what it would look like if you were to build right, right. to scale. Yeah. Um, okay. So you guys find a place in the trees. Who's helming finding that spot? All right. Go and roll an investigation check. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I, uh, no, I honestly don't know anymore what my favorite terrain does for me. I don't know if I No, this is exactly what you're using. Your forest is favorite terrain. This is exactly the kind of thing it would help with. I always feel oh, like I'm, I'm bullshitting it now. Um, what am I rolling? Investigation? Yes. Uh, 24. 24. Uh, you find one massive tree. I mean, there's, the trees here can get pretty big, and there's one like thick tree that the branches are pretty easy to climb, and up top, it kind of branches out, and all the various uh, branches that hit that make up the canopy. There's almost like this this little bowl at the very top, just underneath where the heavy foliage descends, and it's like a perfect place for you guys to make an, uh, a camp higher up off the ground. Hey, this is a place. Let's do it here. It's perfect. I'll unload everything. All right, you guys make camp. Who's making first watch? Me. All right. Me too. Oh, yeah. here's here's feast. Here's feast. Here's feast. All right. Yeah. Before, before we'll say we'll God, say so we'll say as a note. This is the the last of the chalices you have prepared. If you want to do any more heroes feasts, you have to specifically go and purchase the chalices yeah. or go and look for it in town. All right. Let's so, do it. Is this so. including or not including the chalice that Grog gave to Vax earlier? You should drink out of. Uh, that Terry. chalice, while while it looks quite delightful. 
uh, is not worth a thousand gold pieces. Right. Yeah. Right. It, yeah. It, it, it's, it's a little gaudy. It's got my, Michael's, <laughs> Michael's yeah. craft. Exactly. I've got, I've got one other chalice. Every time, <laughs> no, no, no. Every time, every time you drink of it, you get glitter on your hands and you're like, shit. Um, <laughs> All right. All right. So we're so, immune to fear. You're immune to fear, immune to poison, and. Advantage on wisdom. Marisha, do you want to go ahead and roll the additional hit points for yours? Uh, yeah. 2d10, yeah? 2d10, I believe. Uh, don't we don't get that 7, we lose our 17. Lose our 17. Wisdom save each? You do. Okay. That's why I didn't Seems take it. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Wait. Yeah. yeah! Oh, that's amazing! It's a 9 and a 10. Ooh. So 19, so 19 additional hit points to all of you guys. How long do, if you, if you give us a speech, how long does that last? Yeah, how? Temporary hit points last until they go down, or you get a uh, long rest, I believe. Double check. So, but this is going to be a long rest. Sure. Oh sure wait, but does that mean we lose our temporary hit points on the Heroes Feast? You do. Well, no, no, no. They're different. You get oh, okay. you can, the Heroes Feast is in addition to your maximum hit points. Temporary hit points are different. Oh. Technically, those two stack. But we're about to lose the morning. But, we're about to but you have to lose the temporary hit points. But yeah. at the top of the morning, give us a speech I in think the morning. Give us another yeah. speech. Should you be so inclined? Yeah. God mm-hmm. damn it. Do I have to like do it? No, you don't. No. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think you can, you, you can give the you can give the essence of a speech. Remember, this is this is kind of right. I can like I can do like you know an interpretive dance, right? You just, you just up, up, That's down, better. Down, down, left, right, left, right. Only if you actually do the interpretive. Yeah. Dance. yeah. Wait, nineteen extra. But he's giving you a look. The laser light show. Wow. With fireflies. Oh, cool. So you got it's it's just, it's like a, a Disney Imagineer show. It's a, this is it's a speech. All right, I, it's it's a speech. Words, it is a speech. words. <laughs> um, you can give the essence of it, but the idea words here is words. is just is is you honing your public speaking. You're gonna get skills. better at it, kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like public public debate in high school. Exactly. Right. Toastmasters. Mm-hmm. That's right. I love Toastmasters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just you know. Lots uh, temporary points. Blah, blah, blah. Toastmasters. They last until the depleter, or you finish long rest. Yes, that was correct. Uh-huh. Cool. So in the top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. All right. Good morning to everyone. I'm going to you. Uh, we'll save the pur- purposes of brevity, because even at your guys' level, if you did encounter anything in this forest that was indigenous, you'd splatter it in a round. Um, but you don't have any issues. Nothing really sees you up in the, in the branches. You occasionally get caught off guard by the sound of a nearby like an owl in the trees. Um, but nothing seems to bother you during your evening slumber. You complete your long rests. You have you still maintain your benefits from the hero's feast, and as the morning comes, Keyleth gives a rousing speech. Just give us the topic. You 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 can just describe the topics so you talk about. You don't have to give the actual speech. That's great, because you know, one can only <laughs> bullshit so much in a four-hour fucking game. Um, <laughs> I talk about the smell of our breakfast. <laughs> it's bacon in the morning. <laughs> and taste and smell the fleshy essence of the pork. It's bacon what we're fighting for. <laughs> How it's worth it. No. It's making us want to fight better. It's definitely <laughs> worth fighting for. Bacon is worth fighting for. <laughs> Agreed. And when we kill that celestial baby, we will have the godliest <laughs> Bacon, one could ever imagine. I do like bacon. Yeah. This is this is the most Burning Man thing that's ever happened <laughs> on the show. Kill that celestial baby. Yeah. I'm flashing back to some bacon. bacon. Yeah. Mm. I love the smell of bacon. Celestial baby. I love bacon. Bacon. I feel All right, like guys. Well, there you go. You take minutes. your 17 temporary right. hit points. She's not a great talker, and it's, it's, it's never it's been one. So I just want to point that out. You roll. You guys this? all know no, this. No, no, just her level. Seventeen, 17, 17 because it's just 17. my yeah, level. Add that to the it's my level plus my no, charisma seven, modifier. No, the seventeen goes away. It's gone. But the nineteen we can heal. It's too. still your maximum. You can heal it. Yeah. I see. That's the difference. 
That is the most. I always imagine. I always imagine so occasionally when Keyleth gives yeah. a speech that it's, it's, it's like a yes. um, uh, what's his name from uh, from Animal House. Matthew, I'm going to prepare some spells that I'm going to inject into various coins. Yes. What are you doing? She's on a roll. I'm going to drop another 300 gold and give Vex another revivify. Oh, yes! Okay. I'm going to give. Grog, you're already a good jumper, right? Yeah. How far can you jump? Uh, it's just college. Yeah, you gave me a, a fly <laughs> coin. No, also. that's gone forever. Yeah, you, it's gone. Fly coin? That's gone. Really? It doesn't last forever. It lasts, yeah, no. it lasts a couple oh, hours. Oh, that's bullshit. Um, yeah, I can jump. Oh, my God, you really need a jump. 15 feet vertically or 20 feet horizontal. College? So, not great. It's like three squares. I'll give you uh, I'll give you a jump coin, so that will triple your jump. Whoa! Will you sing Wait, jump, jump from Van Halen? Sure. Uh, <laughs> when when you do it. Wrong turn. Um, and I'll give. Jump let's see here. Who needs things? Jump from a love. I'll give. Uh, I'll give. Well, no, you guys all cast things now, right? A little bit. Man, Not really. Why? Oh, yeah. sure. T, jump. give me something. Show it. me some magic. Jump. Give me a jump. doodad. Just Can you turn invisible? Uh, I used to be able to, but I'm getting away from the ring. Until a certain over here. He's fine. Care Bear. I'm such a nice guy. Oh, no, it wasn't Care Bear. No, it wasn't Care Bear. No, it was Toba. Toba. Fire. I'll give you a blur coin. Ooh. Don't you already have that with your. Oh, that cloak that I gave away? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah. one. That's the one that Care Bear took. That's yep, right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Make inventory of the items you've lost. To lost. Oh, gave away. And lost I'll, and gave away. And I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll free, give yes. good old Percival a, a, a Cure Wounds coin. Oh. Well, what level? Exciting. This is just one. Level one, you got it. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, it will hopefully not come in handy. Blows on my playlist. Uh, and also, I'm going to change my robe of many things to my. New robe of many things. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's it. All righty. Vest of several items now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Kigurumi of useful trinkets. Uh, oh, hey. Right. Maybe, well, no, maybe would this be a bad idea? To shoot an oracle arrow down into the bottom of the. Yeah, I don't think. I think that's. I, has, I think it's been working out very Maybe well for yeah. us. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. It is like pitch black down there, though, isn't it? Sure is. Well, Indeed. we have this uh, method that we used to do where I light the arrow on fire and then send it down so I can see by the light of the fire on it. Would that make your actual eyeballs burn? I don't think so. Maybe, though. Oh, no, and I'm going to do one more thing. Have you ever okay. tested I'm going to pull out a healing draft <laughs> bottle and give it to <laughs> heal. No, you can heal things. Yeah, I'm all right. You don't need to heal. No, other You're people gigantic. I normally do. Gigantic. Keep it easy. I give it to Vax. I turn into Nurse <laughs> Betty almost in every fight. What are you talking about? <laughs> that, that yeah. was it exactly it's true. true. He does. That's he actually does very, heal very people true. a lot. He heals people a lot by shoving. But that's cool. You give it to somebody that you know. Well, you, well, you can first down. give it to me. I got fifty things I can do a turn. What? It was what kind of potion? A healing draft. It's it's not Rub a potion. It it's a bottle of healing shit. Oh shit! It's eight d eight. It's a theme with you. Eight d eight. I will never give this up. Ever. That's it's pretty high. More Thank you. Do. Thank you, Terry. Sure. <laughs> All right. That's uh I, I think I think that that's a really good oh, idea. Yeah. He's shooting shooting an arrow down there. I'm going to set the death on the product. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Best guess. I'll light like my hands on fire. <laughs> oh, it's fine. So that jumping. Vex can light her arrows on fire. What about what? So when fire? we're ready, oh, we've, right. we've got we've got something to light the Should I wait, should I cast pass that face on us? No, I'm gonna kiss, my I'm gonna do the glare first. Yeah. No, what if we wake Wait, it up when what? I shoot it down and things come out? What? Well, that is a very real possibility. Well, then they'll be easy, yeah. easier well, to kill up here than yeah. they'll be down they'll there. Be four, okay. They'll be 400 meters down. I can theoretically drop some awesome fireballs. On I like faces, this idea. Actually. I'm gonna cast Pass Letter Trace on all of us just to be safe. Although okay. that's very far away. So we can like stealth and be quiet. And Alrighty. now, yeah, but they'll just keep falling, won't they? I don't know. How does that work? Yeah, it's a weird magic question. This is why magic freaks me out. <laughs> what are you, what's the question? If I like drop a fireball, 
how long does it'll gravity just gravity continue go... to carry it down? A or does it dissipate? Drop of what? A fireball? Like fireball. Fire, fireball. Cast it's a fireball. fireball straight down. Will it just how, eventually stop? Will it keep going, or will it just right. Well, a, a fireball range? is a, it's a small bead of, of magic energy that has a range. Oh, so the end of this. And so if it reaches the end of the range, it has well, no effect. Well, there you effect. go. That, that's the answer. Well, Bolstead. This is why magic's weird. But I could key to you until the bottom. You could. Yeah, you're right. We're just spoiled for choice. You just yeah. take you take half bludgeoning damage with the impact. I mean, yep, yep, advantage just about. Dropping a great height did not go well for you. Nope. Yeah, but she wasn't. Roll, but you yeah. know, Kayla, I'm not gonna. Did you roll 17 or 19 on your? Uh, I rolled 19, 19, but then you get an additional 17 because my 17 temporary hit points. Got it. Weird because speech about bacon. bacon. Yeah. I'm really in the mood for now. Bacon points. We kill the bacon, bacon steel, points. baby. <laughs> you are the most glorious bacon. To be fair, so I've eaten some bacon in my time. That's given me some temporary hit points. That's so, so true. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All species of Look, bacon it was inspired, okay? Oh, completely. I felt it. I'm not wrong. So we will not go baconless into the night. <laughs> <laughs> bacon has saved many a people. All right. Those bacon All right. Smallies, Let's man. do this I'm thing. setting my arrow on fire. <laughs> And I'm shooting it down into the pit. Okay. Orca, you fire it. It's a big pit. The yeah. radius of a small flame on an arrow doesn't seem to light up the walls. It's yeah. not bright enough. So it just descends and descends. And since the wood is catching and burning, and eventually it hits the stony, earthy floor, the bottom, and it clatters and kind of breaks a little bit. and. Is burning pretty heavily, and you glance around the space inside, and you can see what looks like some broken mining equipment on the ground, kind of jutting out in places. You see what appears to be some sort of like stony platform that is actually like carved, sort of carved, but kind of mildly forgotten or eroded steps, and the rest of the arrow burns up, and you lose your vision. That was helpful. Super, super helpful. Is this not worth it. Mm. Worth it. Didn't, didn't cost us anything. That's true. I didn't see the great baby beast down at the bottom. And that's information we didn't have. Yes. And now we know, great baby beast is not at the bottom. Potentially, in that in that small pit. circle. It's not at the bottom of the topless pit. Yeah. Pit has a bottom. Okay, so what? we could take it's our. The bottom of the topless pit. We could take the flying carpet down. A couple people could fly. We can take the flying carpet down. Two flyers, plus the carpet. The circumference of this thing is massive. Plus the carpet. Right. Uh, Like the the diameter. The the diameter of of the actual hole is maybe about. If she needs to. Football field? Not quite that big. I'd say it's about. (coughs) 150, 200 feet across. Stay away from the walls. What, what, what? Just get her out come out of the walls? Yeah, don't, do not come anywhere near the walls. Yeah. Oh, God, this is alien. When we descend, do we want light to be able to see, or we don't want people to, I mean, things to see us? We probably, maybe they... Good chance they can see in the dark. Yes. Yeah, so Let's have the flashlights ready. Them. Okay. But not active. And jump and or fly. I mean, I have a few daylight spells left. <coughs> oh. Maybe good to blind them if they well. dwell under the surface. You know, if we're not in a rush, if we're not in a rush, it might just be nice to send like a little mini nuke down into the hole and see what comes out. Did your voice just crack? Yeah, well, no, it's like reverse puberty. Becoming a man. Okay. <laughs> the problem is, I'm down one. with that mini nuke. It extends a lot of our magical ranges. Unless I want to like key to our down. Mm. I think it's better, especially we we do we have we seen a tree that we can port to in case of an emergency or some sort of object that we can port to if things mm. get, get. There are definitely a lot of trees. Yeah. It's a sleepy tree. But there will not be a tree down there. No. no. Do we have an ex- do we have an escape route if we need it? We no. have a flying carpet, two brooms, a set of wings, up and out. Well, all right. Yeah, just because to, there's, just there's not going to be. I, I can't ride the carpet. You At can't all? ride the. Yes, you can. It's a big one. It's Is big. it? Is it bigger yeah, than the first one? Yeah, it's bigger than the first one. That's right. So I can get on there with everybody else. That needs well, to well, well, we all everybody. Not everybody. Get on it is Percy and Pike. Everybody else can fly. Unless Keyleth is out of. Yeah. Well, I can polymorph him. Uh, and yeah. we, can, mm-hmm. we can also talk about how, how, much, how much weight can the carpet take. He's checking. 
I mean, you could technically just go on it alone, and then I could hop on the broom. Hop on the broom. Yeah. Oh. We are versatile as shit. Hop on Vex's back. Vex's okay. back. So the one that you have uh, it'd be 800 mm. pounds capacity. Oh, okay. So. You. We're good. Right? It's just no, slow. You're, you're, you're like 300 pounds, right? No, I'm it's like. Slow. It's slow. It's kind of arguable. I'm yeah. definitely over 300 just pounds. Just in this direct like, limit, it'll like yeah. best be like 500. Three of us on that coffin. Four. Four. Something. One big one, one little one, and a medium one. You can fit Grog in one other person. He's probably. a big bastard. Okay. We can take someone on that broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll join you on the broom. All right. I think you probably, you'd probably fit Grog, Percy, and Pike. Yeah, okay. Then. Okay. That that solves it. Yeah. Perfect. Well, then let's descend slowly and quietly. Is that yes. Hang on. Before we go, there's a few things I want to do. Hmm? Let me double check. Oh, I don't yeah. want to be a dumbass. No, this is very clever. Hang I see on. what you're going for. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, wait, wait. I might need the book. Okay, I know one of the things that I want to do is I want to use my staff to um, create an air elemental. So I want to take a minute to use my my spire. Okay. To conjure an arrow. Con conjure an arrow. By the way, can I just remind everyone this whole year I've had one half of a communications bracelet, and someone's been watching us the whole time. What? Oh, that's Remember right. Remember that thing you I had found that down in the fucking mm. nine hells, right? Yeah. yeah, someone's watching us like for a year. Oh my so god, they're right there. <laughs> that is so crazy. What? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, watching you make fucking blondies. Right. Um. <laughs> like, this channel's boring. This is the blondie channel. <laughs> <laughs> He's making oh armor. Uh. I want a blondie so bad. <laughs> I'm going to, um, so I'm going to do the, I'm going to conjure an air elemental, yes. and then I'm going to go over to Grog, Yo. and I'm going to give him a big hug and say, for the next hour, no one can keep a hold of you. And I'm going to give him freedom of movement. Yeah, okay. For an what hour. is that? You're now greasy as well. Like I can't Target can now spend five feet of movement to automatically escape from non magical restraints such as mantles or creatures it has grappled. Grappled. You can't be grappled. It's like you spend um, five feet of my movement. Yeah. Being underwater. You're no also penalty. unaffected awesome. by difficult terrain. Ooh. And spells and other magical effects can neither reduce the target's speed okay. nor cause the target to be paralyzed or restrained. You're you are, you are parkour. <laughs> You're parkour. I'm Chevy Chase and Christmas figures. Parkour. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Just because I feel like you've been restrained. All right, so, so as you finish yeah. the conjuration from the That's stem, you kind of slam it into the ground at the edge of the entranceway, and you watch as a nearby cloud tends to swirl and descend, and you hear this like cracking sound as the uh, planar shift between your plane and the elemental plane of air briefly kind of hiccups open and then summons forth an elemental that <laughs> rushes down into your control. It is concentration, keep that in mind. Yes. All righty. Let's go. Yeah. Do it. Dun, 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 dun. Light the dun, candle. Dun, 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 dun. So, two brooms of flying, magic carpet. Partridge. Wings. And a partridge in a pear tree. And you are. What? Oh, <laughs> true, it's <laughs> I know. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and go elemental. Not yet. But I can't cast. Can I get on the carpet? Is there room? Uh, the carpet's full of things. Can you hop on the broom? I'll hop on the broom. You hop on the carpet. Okay, we can do that. All right, so on the broom, you guys slowly begin to descend down this heavy open tunnel. This is just the stupidest. We're staking to the middle. Let me know. Did you cast Pass Without a Trace? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'd like all you guys to make a stealth check, please. As we fly. Natural 20. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! And add ten, y'all. Twenty-seven. Twenty-one. Uh, I rolled a two, but it's a thirty-seven. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So wait, what? Thirty-nine. You a two. <laughs> yeah. Built into the rules, you man. Yeah. Yep. Reli reli reliable. Closer. Reliable. Rogues, yeah. man. That's what rogues are good at. Whoa. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Twenty-eight. Thirty. 30, okay. As you guys all descend, yeah. 39, you get about halfway down the tunnel and you can hear this occasional echo. Like, <laughs> and for those of you that have dark vision, you look off to the side and you see there are these small kind of openings, these these tunnels in the sides, and occasionally you see a large insect -like creature kind of skitter out and then into another hole. And none seem to see or notice your presence. 
You continue delving deeper and deeper and deeper. The, the looking up above, you can see the, the slowly vanishing circle of daylight above you. And as you continue further, I don't think we should land. And further down, those of you with dark vision, you begin to see a floor begin to approach. Don't land. Do we need light? No, not yet. We halt the car. I halt the carpet. Twenty feet off the ground. Okay, you halt the carpet. We're whispering. We're whispering, but we're not whispering, so we're, that, like, we're, we're ear phoning. We're, we're, we're ear ringing. Yeah, we're definitely whispering. Over. Yeah, we're dangling. Can we see? This is a stage whisper. Can we see any little creature in the middle? Make anything? a perception check. Okay. Come on, can Pike. I, can I look too? Yeah. Oh, I have You'll see some sort of a right? cloak over my helm mm. since it emits light Ooh, all the time. <laughs> okay, it doesn't block all the light. Oh God. Because it's kind of the. All of brilliance. Sure. So yeah, as you, guys, as you guys are being somewhat stealthy going down here, you, you know, Tyrion is still kind of a slight beacon of fire. His helmet just emits a glow at all times. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I, um, I got like a, a towel. Because insects don't love lights in the dark. <laughs> oh, I know. 25 for perception. Okay. 22. Okay. Um, you glance about and you can see <laughs> this this opening at the bottom. There's 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 some warping to the earth here, and there's like almost it's a one large chamber that's almost like peanut shaped, like kind of pinches in the center and closes around. And there's a small tunnel that leads off and then closes at the end. Um, it appears to be what may have been some sort of a mine shaft that is then collapsed on the opposite side. But the center here, it looks like there's some you know some fallen. Barrels and, and chest pieces, and there are you know, pieces of, of rods and, and rope and cords just strewn about. Um, and there is this like kind of ancient stone platform that rises up in the center, and what appears to be some sort of a small recess in the stonework. There it looks like it's like a it's like a maybe about the size of a football. It's carved downward. By the way, I was wrong. It only emits light when there's undead around. Oh. oh, never mind. Is it emitting light? Well then, never mind. Is it emitting light? Is it like an orc? Uh, it is currently not emitting light. Oh, Should we just nuke it? Should we just nuke that thing? I think the ancient right. platform? No, don't nuke that. Oh, it was like a coffin. Did it look, does it look like a coffin? Uh, you can probably get closer. Let's get a little closer. Teeny bit. Careful. Okay, because you're ways from it and you have no light down here. Okay. So, you I mean, even with your, your dark vision, you can make out some details. Okay. Um, the closer you get, you see a number of, of kind of small carvings. It looks like some sort of language that you, I don't believe you understand. Celestial. You don't see it. It's pitch black for you, Mr. Human. Abyssal, black. draconic. Nope. Primordial. Nope. Common. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that would be amazing. Dwarvish, <laughs> gnomish. Nope. Giant. We can't see it. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, a human. They can't see shit. Uh, humans. The humans are sitting there in pitch black, just seeing this tiny little bead of light above, and just hoping that someone's gonna wow. say something. Give them some indicator. Wrong. Wrong. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> should we cast Maybe some light down here? Just a dagger's worth. Sure. I'll. Uh, we we said that we had prepared our flashlights. Before mm -hmm. we, we did, yeah, yeah. Yep. so we have our we have that oh the, we have that low light version we have the red light version of it yes. the, the, the night the, the uh, I'm gonna mark off to I can get circles. around very fast why don't I go look you want to borrow a flashlight you don't you don't you don't I have a flashlight oh okay you also, I can also yeah, just cast celestial. daylight by the by yeah that's not too well that's that. what we have going in our flashlights our daylight spells except gotcha. they're just they're lensed and contained. It's contained, but it's still a single beam. Of yeah, yeah. A beam of red, of like red light. Yeah, of like yeah. So, you so you go ahead and, and bring, get close on the on the broom with and just yeah, and just start to see if I can make out right. what it is. You open up the kind of the hood of the uh, of the light, and it immediately beams this like stark red beam down on this portion. You look at it; it is celestial. What does it say? Um, it appears. It appears to be. It appears to be. <laughs> uh, Runes of Runes gestation of and protection. Protection. Sorry, I'll stop. It's, it <laughs> speaks of a seed, a guardian gestation. for ages to come. Symphior. Symphior. It's Symphior. It's an incubator. 
feel. This isn't a guardian doesn't... for ages to come. Oh. So it's been awake. Oh, oh it's been it woke. Hatched. So this is the opening of. Something this is was where born. It was. Is it a Something god cherub? Here. You notice as this like pale white light begins to just slowly appear, kind of a little ways ahead of you in the other side of the chamber, Uh-oh. and this, this I, light is emanating from some. I snuff. It's like a clock. Maybe okay. A second. You and we back that. away from the thing. You guys begin to like drift back on the yeah. carpet, yeah. and you see this 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 beacon of light kind of hovering maybe ten feet up off the ground, about the same height that you guys were, uh. to the uh, to the, the the platform, and you see there what what appears to be like a. A cherub. It's, it's, it's like an, a baby or an infant, but it appears to be withered and gray, and it kind of its arms and legs kind of hang limply, and it has these small white angel-like wings, but the feathers are tattered, oh, and no. broken in places, and the head's kind of lulled back, and this the glow kind of grows from it. It kind of goes. And just gives out this heinous scream that echoes throughout the whole hall. You can't help but instinctually grab your ears. I'd like you all to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, no. Which, advantage? Advantage. 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 Which actually you are immune to fear, so it does not affect you. Oh. However, it shakes the interior, and you watch the small stones kind of like <laughs> hitting the ground around you. And you guys just, you know, looking up above, uh, you can see that this this scream is affecting the uh, the structure a little bit. I need you all to roll initiative. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, yes. Oh, that's good. Wow, Get the fuck slapped. out of here. Oh, that sucks. Oh, shit. All right, you so we do? have well, up here by the platform. Oh. <laughs> He's got a million on his. I rolled a 20 on the wisdom save we didn't need to make and threw it away and thought, well, I wanted to keep it, and then I rolled again, I got another natural 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh shit. Whoa, look at that. There's a map. Whoa, it's cool looking. Oh, shit, we're like right by the baby. Where's the baby? What is, Where that is the baby? There it is. There's oh, that's the baby. baby. It's, tiny. it's very tiny. Ooh, I but like mean. it. Oh, it's a mean baby. I feel All like right. it could be saved because it's, you know. When you say saved, you mean killed. I know. I <laughs> feel bad because it's a, a baby. Wave? Maybe it needs to be. All right, so. Just some stores. Initiative. Just need some, huh? like. 25 to 20, anybody? 25. Woo! Holy what? shit. Who rolled what? 30. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Percy. So what did you roll? I rolled a 19, and, you have and my initiative is 11. Jeez. Fighters. Wow. I am going to debate hard how dumb I'm about to be. Would, how, uh, what? The now? dumbest. What now? All right, so, uh, 20 to 15. 20, 19. You got a 20, what did you get? 25. You got a 25, okay. <clears throat> All right, 15 to 10. 12. 12. 10 to five. Oh yeah. Eight, six. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Go, Pikey Boo. All right, guys, we're gonna keep this coming rolling fast because we're gonna make this happen. All right, first up, first and foremost, as this creature emerges, oh, and you guys are kind of in your respective places. Uh, Percival, you're up first. Uh, where am I? You're up up here near the top of the platform where you saw the recess. God damn it! Okay, so I'm far away from that little little bugger. Aren't yeah, I? it appeared on the opposite side of this kind of double okay. chamber. Okay, um, I'm going it's to. It's all up from there. Um, I'm going to um, hop off the broom. Okay, so you hop up there. Actually, uh, no, you're going to move towards it, I assume. I'm, or... I'm so far below you in the initiative, though. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, he's, your, he's one, you're five. Um, it's glowing, right? So we can see it even if we don't turn on flashlights and things? You can see it, yes, but you cannot see Anything the terrain else. around you. I'm sure we're going to try and talk to it, right? Yeah. We Maybe are. it knows my family's name. Madness, are you? So, first of all, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to hop off the broom, uh, okay. activate my my boots, and activate my gloves, um, and start running towards that little the the, the through the through that little uh, what, the choke point, and I'm just going to get as close to and possibly on the wall of that choke choke point as humanly possible. Uh, the other side of the choke. Oh, point. you can get about there. You don't quite get to the wall. 
Okay, you can get about there. You can get further, but you're out. You're currently the creature's out of your view. That's fine. Okay. Um, that's that's as far as I can get right now. That will yep. be just fine. So I've activated. Yeah, I've the gloves charged. The boots are on, and I'm heading towards the wall. Okay, so that's your turn. Yep. That's All it. right. So that's Vax. everything I can do. Okay. Uh, boots on. I'm going to arch over oh. to ten feet away from the baby. All right. The baby. What about there. Yeah. Uh, where I am, is it straight up or am I covered over here? No, it's straight up. This, 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 this is the, straight up. Great. Where, where you see the walls are right now. Even yeah. this is kind of collapsed about here. Um, in fact, I'd say probably just to keep it easier, they all said that that's a collapsed entrance there. Okay. But this is all just a straight up hole in the ground. It's like it's, it slowly funnels as it gets to the bottom. Wow. Uh, all right. So. Um, I'm going to use bonus, so action, action, bonus action. I'm going to cast Vow of Enmity on it. Alrighty. Then I'm going to throw Whisper at it. Alrighty. Uh, that is a uh, 33 to hit. That hits. I'm going to cast Divine Smite on it. Good job. Uh, Kill that celestial dice. BB. There's a lot of <laughs> dice here. Get all the bacon. <laughs> Two, this is 10 plus psychic damage is 11. That's not very good. 11 plus divine smite is ah, 12. Uh, 19 plus sneak attack damage, 19. Uh, 21, 26, 28, 29, 34, uh, 36, thank you. 38. Nice. 38. And there's nothing extra because it's celestial. Correct. Not a fiend. Uh, all right, so that was uh, bonus action, action, and I'm gonna use my action to then just fly away from the fucking thing, a uh, hundred feet away diagonally up into the tunnel, where I can still see it, hopefully. I'm hasted. Right, right, but your action... Movement was to get there. Movement was to get there. Bonus action for Vow of Enmity. Correct. Action to attack, and then my hasted action I can use for dash, hide, disengage. Correct, dash is your full movement, which is... 60 normally, 120 feet right. hasted. Fuck. I didn't make these rules or these items. <laughs> I know. Okay. Cool. So you. Diagonally up. No birds. No birds. I mean, I'll you're, sit by you're basically my against the wall. I'll like, fly to get to the by wall. my sister. How's that? You fly by your sister? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. No worries. That ends your turn. All right, Pike, you're up. Okay, I'm yeah. going to cast Beacon of Hope. Actually, sorry. Before the end of your turn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's go and go ahead and use Legendary Action to use a Terrain Shift. God damn it. Um, it's just a baby. <laughs> oh no, we're baby in its lair. My baby yep. back, baby back, baby back. <clears throat> the, as, as you stab the creature, it kind of, <gasps> this is a horrible sucking sound, and you dart back, it kind of looks over your direction, the wings kind of flutter once. <laughs> And it brings its arms up, and as it does, and you land next to your sister, you feel the air around you begin to freeze and cold. Like this energy is kind of just shies up. You feel ice crystals kind of condense around, and both of you, you feel the air in your lungs suddenly begin to freeze up. And you both, of you guys, make Constitution saving thanks, throws. Thanks. Come right next to me on that one. Natural twenty. Nice. What am I doing? A Constitution. Constitution saving throw. Uh, nine. Alrighty. Uh, 19 points of cold damage to you, Vex. Okay. And that is nine points of cold damage to you, Vax. And uh, while you manage to pull out of this space of condensed cold, Vax, your sister, however, becomes stunned for one round as your body is frozen and locked in place. Yeah. You watch like the, the, the air kind of sh sh coalesce into this frozen area, and, and while the broom's still holding you aloft, thankfully, um, you are sitting there in place, and the ice kind of falls and clatters and slams into the ground below you, sounding like the shattering of a hundred pieces of crystal across the stonework. Pike, now it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope. Okay. Um, and for my bonus action, I'm going to pull out a spiritual weapon, of a giant big great sword. Yeah. Okay. Giant baby rattle. I'd be like. Speaking of hoping, it's oh. <laughs> Don't fire. Play with it. <laughs> they level two. Spiritual weapon. Where are you putting the spiritual weapon? 
right in front of the baby. All right, I believe you get to make an attack with it then if you do. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, but I don't know if I want to hurt the baby. You Did you do any damage? Yeah. All right, so you're going to roll for, roll for attack on that? Oh. Oh, that's not good. So you roll d20, add your spell attack modifier. Uh, 13. 13. Woof, it swings, and the creature just like <laughs> flaps out of the way and avoids the blow. Stupid piece of dice crap. Are you going to move or stay where you are? Crap oh, dice. yeah! Wait, I have a, I'm resistant to cold. Travis just reminded me. I have cold resistance because of my Vorgal armor. You do. do so I, does that mean I roll again for. No, you take half the damage, but you're still stunned. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. So that was uh, 17. So. Oh. Oh, it, it, you take nine damage yeah, instead of the nine 19. Instead of 18, which is what you would have taken before. Okay, right. so add nine back. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right, so uh, do you want to move with your turn? No, I'm going to stay. Okay. I'm going to stay, because mm -hmm. we're on the carpet, right? Mm hmm. You guys are coming. Frog, Percy, just and I on the carpet? I'm not yeah. on the carpet. It's You're not on the carpet anymore? Oh, that's you guys I'm going to stay on the carpet. You can move okay. the carpet forward, though. Did Beacon of Hope get everybody? Uh, Beacon of Hope. What do we get? The range on that is. 30 feet. 30 yeah. foot range gets everybody except for the elemental. I think you're fine. That, that's cool. Tight. Okay, that's what, what did we get? Uh, get. Beacon of Hope. Uh, you have advantage on wisdom saving throws, death saving throws, and you regain the max number of hit points possible from any healing. Advantage oh. on. Great. Yeah. Great, great, great. All righty. Yeah. Then in your turn? Yeah. Yes. Saves. All right. Death but death saving throw is huge. Death right. And healing is huge. Yeah. End of your turn, the creature over there kind of goes, and uh, you watch as the ground right beneath the carpet explodes like it just peels back as molten lava suddenly begins to just no. spill up in a column beneath you, splattering up into the back and over the top of the carpet. I need everybody in this cluster, this 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 ten foot uh, by ten foot section, to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Great. Hmm, not good. Maybe I'm lucky. Oh. I don't think you're on. Oh. You're terrible. not on. You're, oh, I'm not, not even on. Where am I? You're over on the corner. I have no idea where I am. See that thing? Uh, where's our here? You're next to the big white thing. I am. So Grog, Pike, and Keyleth. Oh, well then never mind. Danger says 17. Wow. 18. It doesn't show up on the monitor that's so Danger weird. says 18? 18. 17. Natural 20. Whoa. Natural 20 plus what's your? One. One. 21. 21. <laughs> uh, Pike's the only one that made it. What? So Pike, you suffer uh, 21 points of fire damage. Oh my gosh. Half because of your armor. Okay. So you only take 10. 10 points of fire damage. Okay. Um, I need you to go ahead and make a concentration check on Beacon of Hope. Oh, shucks. You got this. You got this, Pike. Just, just roll, roll a constitution saving Fucking throw. molten lava. Yep. God! Keyleth and Grog, you yep. guys both take 42 points of fire damage. Oh, it was nice being oh, over 250 points. for a little while. Okay, Fucking so. Fucking fuck. Hang on, wait, math. The math. ground below you. How many points? 41? Uh, yeah. 42. Oh, wait, no, 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 what is it? 59, dude. Ground below you right now is currently in flames. And you guys kind of have to stick around that space there. So the the the, the open ground now is just billowing flame and lava now and in the area around that platform, that, that, that area is just searing hot. So would you offer five. a five with your Yes. <laughs> yeah, you lose you lose speaking of hope. Ah. Sorry. All right. What is Keyleth. it? You have to get above what, half of the damage you took. Is that what it is? It's it's you have to get above half the damage you took or ten, whichever is higher. Uh, Do we stay on the carpet okay. or are we knocked out? Um, I hate my dice. You guys, I mean, you, you can choose to stay on the carpet. You just pull out of the way, and now just this area is just billowing with lava and flame. All right. Uh, Keyleth, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, and control my air elemental and send him over. All right, uh, you took how much damage? 42? 42. Make a constitution, a constitution check, constitution saving throw. So what, I have to get over, I have advantage on these. Yes, you have to get over a 21. Over a 21? A 21 or over. Okay. 
With 17 plus 4. 21. 21. 21. You just maintain concentration. <gasps> oh. Oh. Good roll, good roll. <laughs> Thank you, Gil. Um, <laughs> thanks, Gil. Thanks, Gil. I rolled a 20 tonight with Gil. Fuck. Tonight. Oh. All right. All right. So, <laughs> icing him over with my staff. He has 90 feet fly speed. 90 feet flying speed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he gets over there easy. Plops on over. Um, and he's going to go ahead and do a whirlwind, which the creatures in his space have to make a DC 13 strength saving throw. Okay. This, uh. Nope! This is not a very strong creature. That's kind of what I hoped. They take 3d8 plus 2 bludgeoning damage. Do All I right, go to the damage on that, yeah. Oh, that's nasty. 12 plus 7 is 19. Yeah. Plus 2, so 21. Um, And they are flung up to 20 feet away from the elemental in a random direction and knocked prone. Okay. (laughs) That's going to fling them 20 feet into the wall. 15, 20 into the wall right there. And prone. And they're knocked prone. Yep. Stupid baby. And then, do I so? <laughs> do I still have line of sight? Uh, to it right now, no. You have to get off the carpet to go. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get off the carpet and walk over just to where I have line of sight. Still open. Okay. Right? Yes, at the top of your turn, by the way, you suffer uh, eight points of fire damage by the proximity to the flaming platform there. Even though my mantle allows me to ignore the penalties of dangerous weather. It's, it's not so much a weather effect, it's more that there's a heaping column of <laughs> your old friend and rock. lava. How many, how many, what? Eight points of fire damage. Lava miles. <laughs> what and I need you to make another concentration check. Oh no, another concentration check. I'm oh, a warcaster though, man. Because that's eight, so I just have to get over a ten, right? Yeah. What is right. this considered, like a under dark or a dungeon yeah, I'm good. or? Uh, this is considered subterranean. Not subterranean. Under dark. Okay. Cavern. All right. Okay. So, uh, all right. So you've so you've done that. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do, Keyleth? You're over here. Okay. Can I move over just to where I have line of sight? Yeah. So you leap over and you get line of sight. I'm right there. Okay. Can I do blight? Sure. Oh, all right, what's the DC on that? Mm, I think my spell level, so 20. And it's a const- constitution saving throw, I believe. 88. Uh, Six plus 10, so it's a 16. What do you need? No, fail. Yeah, so so roll your 8d8 necrotic damage. Woo! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, no. <laughs> even with advantage in the save, roll a six and a four. One, two, three, four. Give me two more. Oh, one more, one more, and another, and another. I don't know if I have another. Another what? Give me a D8. A V8. A A V8. Right. Wow. Okay. And you reroll ones, right? I do, uh, no, no. on elementals. Uh, four, five, nine, uh, 14, uh, plus eight is 22, plus, Four is 26, plus two is 28. 28 blight damage. Nice. So as you reach out on the ground, it's trying to get back up and its wings are kind of flapping and all of a sudden you watch as it's kind of gray, withered skin turns dark black on one half of its body and it kind of shrieks out and gives another scream. Oh, geez. From the ground, and you, the, the area quakes again and you feel the ground kind of shimmy a bit. Um, <laughs> The ground beneath you, as a, as its last legendary action, uh, begins to kind of give way. Keyleth, I need you to go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Lava. Fucking lava. lava! Oh no, oh no! Didn't you? Didn't Turn you into move? a goldfish. Wait, no, you moved. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, this is a different area. Okay. Tried and true. Oh wow! God damn it! Oh, oh that's not bad. Uh, Nineteen? No. No, eighteen. Eighteen. So, as, as you finish casting this and you hear it scream, you cover your ears and suddenly the ground moves out beneath you and you watch as the, rock, the, the actual floor... I just <laughs> turn to everyone behind me and I go, 
Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> As you watch Kira plummet into a pit below. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, you plummeted into a pit! You take eight points of bludgeoning damage, oh. and the ground <gasps> covers over her. What? So, you know. It's fine. You're fine. Keyleth vanishes, the, the ground just seems to swallow her up. Yeah. Keyleth, the entire pit collapses in on you, and you're currently restrained underground, and you cannot breathe. All right. What are you doing, Earth Elemental? That's bad. That's fixable. But can you cast things while you can't move? Uh, I, need you to go ahead and make, I need you to make another constitution check. Oh, on my elemental? Oh, yes. I'm just going to turn this down. Uh, yeah, okay. 13 plus my constant, my constitution, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so fine. Yeah. Okay, that ends your turn, Keyleth. Matt, yep. can you point to where the uh, uh, cherub mm-hmm. is? I am, because it's his turn. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so the, the cherub creature, this Simphior, begins Simphior. to fly up off the ground and make its way back in this direction, kind of out into the open once more. Um, he keeps everyone from getting a good night's sleep. He needs a nap. <laughs> he has a dirty diaper. <laughs> 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 it's been a thousand years. <laughs> all, all right. all right. As it as it floats upward, it looks over towards where. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because all it sees is you two. You both are guys still in the flames right there. Um, it's not worried about the fire at the moment. It sees you, Tarion. And just goes oh, no. and lifts its hands up. I need you to go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh, God. God. oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, I'm feeling lucky. Natural twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, plus one. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So you, Whew. marking off the luck. Uh, only suffer. Uh, 11 points of piercing damage. Hey, that's not bad. As you leap out of the way, you watch as the ground suddenly turns into a series of earth-like spikes <laughs> underneath, and some pierce you and scratch you, and you roll out of the way, uh, and you just barely move off to the side, uh, where now you see this giant, jutting series of spike-like pillars forcing up from the ground. Damn. Uh, all right, that's going to end that attack, and it's going to do the rest of its movement to move back over to there in the corner. Um, that brings us back to, or uh, Vex, it's your turn now. Yeah, I'm frozen. She's frozen, she's stunned. So yeah, so you're stunned, and that's your turn. Yay. So. You, you eventually like break the ice off at the end of your turn, and you're, you're, you're breathing heavily and trying to get the feeling back in your skin. Um, that's your go. Grog, you're up. What does it take to activate the coin? You have to slap it on yourself. It's an action, yeah. Yeah? Just an action. Oh, which, which spell do you have? Jump. It's the jump, jump coin. Three what's the, times. What's the mine. casting time of jump? It's touch. What's the casting time of jump? It lasts a minute. No, I mean like casting the, time. Oh, it's instantaneous. You just touch, right? No, it's like, is it a bonus action? It's an action. Oh. So, so that would be your action to use it on yourself. Oh, oh damn. Shit. It's that whole, it's that whole shit, yo. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. All right. Uh, uh, ha, uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump, and uh, I would like to rage. That's my bonus action. All righty. Um, and with my new jump coin, I would like to jump with my boots of pharaoh leaping. It's three times my horizontal jump speed, which is 20 feet, so 60 feet. Okay, you also take seven points of fire damage at the start of your turn because you're by this flame. Awesome. Oh, got it. <laughs> nice, that's fun. And can I jump towards the baby? Actually, just to the right of the... Uh, like just over here. Over this side there? Yeah, right there. Okay, yeah. You, you run, <laughs> land next to it. Nice. Um, can I, uh, do I have any movement left? Uh, with the run and the jump, do you have me to like 10 feet? Okay. I want to get right up on him. You are next yeah, you're right up on him. You oh, you're never mind. next to him. I'm good. Rage, jump, no more action. Titan stone knuckles? Next round. Okay. You have an action stuff. Cause the, the, well, oh, no, I do? Well, no, because you said it's a bonus action to do the leap. Mm-hmm. No, bonus. Uh, What's he saying that? No, it's just just to do the leap, right? Yes. So you have, it was the run. You still have an action. I want to hate him. Go for it. <laughs> uh, great weapon master, reckless attack. Okay. That's a 
26. 26 with a minus five? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. Nice. 12, wow. I should've got this before, yeah. Nice. Plus 10, 20, 16, 37. Woo! Alrighty. That's your first strike. Oh, I get another one. Then you have extra attack, man. <laughs> Uh, tw- 24. 24 does not hit. Ooh, it's tiny it size. It's hard to swing at, and as your axe almost catches it, it just out of the way. Okay, good to know. A whiff. That's it. I just have the two. Yep, I'm not that's your turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, because uh, it's reset back to its ground, it's going to go ahead and look to you in front of it and go, Make a dexterity check. Okay. Saving throw or just jet dexterity? Or dexterity saving throw, sorry. I get two of those. That's better. Uh, 19. The ground crumbles beneath you. Oh. And you suddenly, <laughs> flying below, you are raging, so you only take, it would have been 12 points of damage, become six. Okay. But you are suddenly buried and restrained Can't underground. Be restrained. Got that slickety slick stuff on you. Crystal yeah, oil. But that's my next. T- that happens on my turn. Yeah. Oh, you you burn you burn five feet. Can of I get out of it? To get if out I'm of buried it. Buried in soil, though. Yeah. That's that's where it comes down to freedom of movement, and there it'll mean. I'll say it doesn't have. That's why <laughs> just halfway. Cast it on you, a you, par- you parkour around the the rocks as they try and. Well, he he isn't like. But he's buried in the ground, regardless. Like uh-huh. that's that's Crystal. the that's the effect. He didn't avoid the burying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess you just if you want to use your. Want to use your action to try and escape? You do so. He's gonna, yeah, you he's can gonna enlarge, pop out maybe. like a you black can enlarge and come up out. Ew. We'll visit it. We'll God visit damn, it. Six dude. Okay. Oh no. no. Anyway. Yeah, we can say it. Got it. Uh, right. Too late. That ends that go. Uh, Terry, and you're up. That's what I'm talking. About. Me. Yes. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> All right. I don't have anything I can do. I will click my boots of speed. Yeah. Making okay. me faster. And then I will move, full movement of sixty feet, towards him. Or her. There you go. We don't know, do we? Um, is it wearing a diaper, or is it stangly bits hanging out? Is it peeper hanging out, or is it naked? What's it? Uh, it, it does not. <laughs> you got a pretty close look. If you wanted to take a moment to inspect, oh, we could just try to kill it, not worry about the gender. Of the... Okay. Um, it's a boy. <laughs> We're trying to kill this thing, yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. I guess I'll punch this a baby. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just go. And I'll use my. It's gonna miss though. That's a slippery baby, right? I mean, well, they, at, 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 at sixty feet of movement. Time to hit. Yeah. You You're not quite within melee no, range. No, I was of it. gonna use my ring of the ram. Oh, that'll do. But mm. I'm probably not gonna hit because it's so. It's got an amazing AC. Y'all got any luck left? Yeah, I do. Mm. See what happens. All right. Um, Gotta do something. Is this gonna be a long fight? <laughs> Are they yeah, ever? Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll do the all full three charges of the Ring of the Ram and just punch a baby. <laughs> punch a baby. Okay, go ahead and roll for an attack. Okay, I'll be scared though. Eight, not good enough. I'll use luck. Come on. Come on. Punch that baby. Come on. Thirteen plus nine. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh, Twenty-two. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh wait. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. come on. Can I? Yeah, I War God's Blessing? <laughs> What's the range on War God's Blessing? Let's see. 30 feet? No, he's out of range for that, unfortunately. Oh. Sorry. Oh. As you, oh. It just kind of out of the way, and the fist just oh, goes back, ring. slamming into the wall. Never one, day, never. one day it's going to be epic. It worked once. It did, well, no, it did, it did get you how to. It, it got you a kill, Madrid. yeah. The, ma- the, the Madrid. Oh. Um, Baby just zato each other. Yeah, it's just like no effect. It just dodges out of the way, and now you can see it. Like its weird, lifeless, white eyes kind of turn towards you once more. Oh great! Come here, baby. Then your turn. Yep. Alrighty. Um, Let's see here. It's going to go ahead and use another ability now. as it sees that you're kind of closed in, it glances over and you watch as suddenly a bunch of stonework just 
up in the center of the area. As now. Oh, fuck. Damn it. One of these guys. What? A wall? Giant stone no. wall suddenly awesome. shoots up above <laughs> Wait, for about is it 40 above? feet. <laughs> we got this, guys. Don't worry. Is it above me and Grog like, got it. Yeah, like me and me and buried Grog and buried Keyleth. We got. Yeah, this. where we are. <laughs> Wait, you're buried too. No, you are and, and Grog, Grog are. Right. You're both fine. I'm like under the wall, right? You're uh, you're underneath, right over here. You're yeah. just out. You're on the outskirts of the wall. So it's just That's me and the baby right now. Yeah, you and the baby, <laughs> and an air elemental, and a giant sword that's just kind of. Yeah, swinging. my air elemental is there. Oh great, I'm fine then. <laughs> but you lose vision entirely, Pike. Just <laughs> walls in front of you. Oh my god. Percy, you're right. So is the wall hitting the roof? Or no, no, the, the wall would have to go way high. Okay. it's about forty feet up. So. Um, I'm gonna run up to the top of that wall. Your movement will not get you to the top. Because you only how, move 30 feet. How far will my movement get me? You get you about there. Um. Parkour. Like some unmotivated Spider Man. In that yeah. case. Oh. I'm done. Um, well, I've so got. Oh, fuck, I've got nothing I can. I'll put you right there to remind us, but you're, you're almost at the top of the wall at your full movement. Well, then I will burn my action to, to, to dash get, up. To dash up. Okay, you get to the top of the wall there, and you can now see it. And I assume I can get part of the way down the wall as well with my action, or you can get part way down the wall, yeah. Yeah. So I just want to start making my way. I, okay. Yeah. I want to spider man. So you get about. Yeah. We'll say there. Okay. On the opposite that side. Was, yeah. That was definitely irritating. All right, little, that's your turn, Percy. Um, that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a hex on that little baby. All righty. Baby and he is has disadvantage on his. Um, uh, let's make it his. Uh, Wisdom checks. Okay. All right. At the end of your turn, Percy. God damn it. Let's see. It's going to go ahead and use. <laughs> That's a lot of actions, this, this creature. It's legendary action. It just manipulates the area around it. Um, hmm. Because you are currently standing on the side there. No, you know what's going to hold off. It's not going to do anything. Really? Vax, you're up. Okay, uh, I haven't actually I, technically attacked it. I know what I want to do. You tell me what I can do. Uh, first thing I want to do is um, cast bless on. Uh, grab Vex. Cast bless on us and Pike. I have a range of thirty feet on it. Okay. Um, that's a. Is that bonus? What does that do? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't want to do that. Uh, I fly straight at Pike, and I'm going to lift her up. Okay. You immediately take. Let's go. Go get that baby. Eight points of fire damage right. by getting close to the flames to grab her. It's like. Sure. Uh, and then what is an action to grab and an action to lift and carry over? I'd say it would be an action to 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 grab her enough and you're going to move at half speed with her which is still a ton at this point yeah so and that's all i need is the action to grab her and movement to go over uh action and you've you've movement there is about half there i'd say you'll get your action and your movement will get you to the to the, like up above the wall okay action and movement will all right then i uh, will uh leave her on top of the wall okay <laughs> and I will use uh, my bonus action to fly within range of Bibi, and I should have one action left, yeah? Action, action, bonus action, hasted. Right, hold on, no, no. You use the action to pick up Pike, and that's what up there, you yeah. move, you have another action and a bonus action, that yeah. you have. So I've plopped her there, and yeah, now you have an I have action an and action. a bonus action. Right. So I want to use a uh, bonus but, action. But the extra action that you have is from your haste, which means it can be used for either a melee attack or Great. the Great. So the bonus action I will use to dash towards baby. Okay. And my final hasted attack action, I will stay 30 feet away from the baby, though, Alrighty. in the air, no. and I will throw Whisper with my last hasted action. Okay. There you go. Put you on there. Uh, and that's a 25, which hits. That yeah. hits, that just okay. hits. Yep. Uh, one, and I can, can I dump Smite into this? If you'd like to, yeah. I would like to. Uh, it's nine plus psychic damage is 16 plus 
20, 26, and here comes the sneak attack damage. 26, 27, 29, 30, 33, 37, 43, uh, 47. 47? Yeah. Whew. Nice. Smited. So as you swipe down and whoosh, fling Whisper out, it slams right into the chest of the creature, and it kind of like impales it off the back side. And there's the burst of divine energy inside, but you see the divine energy kind of matches its own, and it kind of, what looks like a blow that would have killed the creature, just like, <laughs> turns back towards you. Yeah. And gives another scream as the dagger returns to you. Uh, at the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. All right, end of your turn is going to use its last legendary action. Um, the, it's going to use another cold snap. You feel the, the air around you, familiar, kind of condense, and the ice cling to you. The air in your lungs freezes solid, it seems. Go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. I'm going to use another luck. Uh, 25. 25 will succeed, all right. So you shrug off the uh, stunned effect, uh, but you do still suffer the halved damage. Thirteen points of cold damage. Alrighty, Pike, you're up. Okay. Top of, okay. Your, top of your turn, you suffer no damage because you got out of the fire. Okay. Out of fire. So you're um, at the top of the wall now. All right. So I will. Uh, can I? F if I climb down there, is it a? It's an athletics thing. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll climb down. Well, an athletics check. It's forty feet down. So that's going to be a long climb. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh, is it really? Is it fucking really? <laughs> it fucking one. fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck. <laughs> Who put her on the top of a forty-foot wall? <laughs> just, just picked her up and dropped her there. I should have. Wait. Seeing cast spells. I have feather fall with my shield. You do. Uh, you do. Uh, so you use your reaction to cast Featherfall on yourself oh, as you stumble clutch. off the side, <sighs> and <sighs> as you, you plummet about 20 or so of the feet, of the 40 feet, <laughs> and you land oh, unscathed okay, on the okay, ground. Okay, okay. <laughs> so is that just my action? Well, that's your reaction to do that. Okay. Um, how close am I to the baby? Can I get to the baby? Uh, <laughs> not 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 physically. It's over here, and you're at the base of the wall. It's like fifty feet. All right, so you, you know what? Range to it. I'm going to um, guiding bolt the baby. <laughs> okay, what level? Let's do five. Level five. Fifth level. Oh shit! Okay, go ahead and roll for an attack on that. Okay. Wait, isn't this guiding bolt an attack? Oh, no, I don't, is it a saving throw? I think it's a saving throw, isn't it? Yeah. I always forget that. It is, no, it's a ranged spell attack, so you have to roll to hit it. Let's go ahead and roll a d20 and add your spell attack modifier. It's not enough, I don't think. Might be these. Plus oh, yeah, 19. Uh, no. 19. 19. 19. 19. But uh, I will use Guided Strike. Oh, and shit. Because you can do that. Yeah. It's Guided Strike, you get to add that to your own attack? Yep. Yep. Wow. It's not a melee, is it? Channel Divinity. <laughs> Still checking mm. there, got a strike. Yeah, plus we'll into the roll, that'll do it. 29, boom. Woo! So go ahead and roll damage Ooh. on that. How many six, how many sixes? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, well, it's four Sorry. levels above that, so it's 8d6 radiant damage. Okay, I, I'll get five. Six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, so Ooh. we've got six, 12. Uh, help me out here, guys. 18, 18. Oh, wow. You are okay, a so lot of sixes. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Um, uh, this will be so she rolled 30, six sixes. Six sixes? Six sixes? What? What? What do you mean? She rolled a ton of sixes. All the sixes? 42. Six six 42. Sixes. sixes? There's literally oh. 42 <laughs> points. That's fucking insane. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm looking at them. They're like, like yeah, they're all sixes. <laughs> we chose to kill this celestial baby, not because it was easy, but because it was hard. So as you, as you as you land gently on the ground after like plummeting head head over heels, 
holding your your holy symbol before you. You watch as this 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 beam of condensed divine energy just rockets across, and this tiny, floating kind of uh, withered planar baby kind of gets blasted. You watch as the wings get pushed back. It's holding itself in place, but you see the kind of dark shadow outline as the energy is just blasting through it as it hits its wings. Recoil and it's still floating there, but you can see this kind of sparkly outline of the divine energy because the next attack on it has an advantage. So, do I still have a oh, bonus oh, section? You do. It's Caleb. Okay. Is your sword so, still up? You can send your sword. This, yeah. I'll we'll use the spiritual weapon. Okay, spiritual weapon can move 20 feet as a bonus action. It moves up and takes a swipe. Go ahead and roll an attack. Oh crap, my boots are stuck together. How does this happen? Oh, Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the, the hook so of the. Kill if, you, kill if you're up next, you'll be ready. Right there. That's how she fell off the wall. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That hits, that's, that's for sure. That's 29. 29 hits? Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead and roll your uh, your damage for the uh, spiritual weapon. Which is uh, 1d8 plus five, I think, for you, for your, okay. whatever your wisdom modifier is. Oh, eight. One eight. Where's my, sorry guys, um, my dice, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's not a lot, but. Seven. Seven, seven points of damage, hey, okay, it all helps. Alrighty, Keyleth, you're up. Okay, that's um, I'm underground, right? You're underground. You're restrained. It is. You are blind. You cannot see anything. Thank you. I'm gonna go Earth Elemental. Okay. <laughs> Amazing, you didn't already have it out of the way. And with that ability, you Everyone can Earth Glide, and this is this is a non-issue for you. Alrighty, Keyleth. Yeah. So you, boom. Are an Earth Elemental. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. Wow! So Do I have mm. enough movement to to Earth Glide to them? What's your speed? I think sixty Earth Glide. Sixty Earth Glide? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Mm. You're moving oh, into into Christmas. melee with the with the baby. Mm. Okay, can I like? Come up from underground, grab them, and then like beat them into the ground. Sure, go ahead and roll an attack for the slam attack. Puny god, puny god. <laughs> so I make two slam attacks. So roll twice. It's plus eight to attack each time. Uh, that one's cocked. Natural twenty on that one, and a four on the second one, which is twelve. Yeah, that misses. Okay, but the one. But the one hits. This is, this is the one as as you reach up out of the ground from underneath. <laughs> your fingers clasp around the the celestial uh, baby and whack, slam it into the ground as hard as you can. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Having so many. That's uh, me so, so two d eight plus five. So roll the two d eight. And then you double the two d eight. You did double whatever you roll for the two d eight, and then add plus five. Crit that baby. Come on, come. Crit come. that baby. Come on, roll the. It's next T-shirt. Uh, Crit that baby. Uh, six doubled, which is twelve plus five doubled, which is ten. So that's uh. 22. Well, well the, the bonus isn't doubled. The just the no, dice. No, I know. Yeah. I'm just the dice. Oh, that's the it's dice. Twenty two yeah. nice. plus five. So twenty seven. That's great. Twenty seven points of damage. <laughs> Wham! Slamming on the ground. Uh, as you your hand retracts up, you can see the uh, the wings are kind of and it's, as it tries to fly up. <laughs> and I just want to hold on to it and be like, "Yo, yo, air elemental!" And then let my air elemental come over and do its thing. Boof, okay. Boof, double slam oh attack. God. Go for it. Oh. Um, a slam attack. Oh no, multi. I'm gonna do a multi attack. Two slam attacks. Okay. So two d8 plus eight. Once again. Uh, that's an 18 and a 17, uh, plus eight. 18 and 17 plus eight? Yeah, so 26, 26 and 25. And yeah. Both hit, good roll damage. Um, which Jesus. is 3d8 plus two. I haven't done shit. Okay, so the first one, oh, uh, uh, six, uh, seven, eight plus seven, which is 15. And then for the first one, oh, 15 plus 2, 15, 17. 16, 17. And then the second one is 8 uh, plus two fives, which is 18 plus 2, so 20. Nice. And it gets flung in a random direction? No, no this, wasn't, this wasn't the roll, this is just hitting it. Boof. 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 All righty. Um, that's the end of your turn? Yeah. All right. As it comes back to the entity's form, it's it's looking really, really, really rough. 
Um, and as part of that, it's going to, you see it kind of reach into itself, almost its hands kind of push into its torso. And as it screams, it, like, <laughs> and gives out this horrible scream as it tears kind of its chest open. And from the inside where you imagine it would be like a rib cage, it's just this impossibly bright light that just whoosh, echoes out in a shockwave, affecting everybody except for Vex, actually. I need everybody else to make a constitution saving throw. All of us? Yes. We don't have advantage on this, do we? I guess I'll nope. Yeah. I'm I'll going to uh, add a, I'm going to burn, burn, burn resolve. Is Constitution part of my? That's part of my physical stats that I keep as being an elemental, correct? Because it's con, strength, yeah, and dex. Never mind. Yeah. Ugh. Ew. So. Twenty-two. Twenty-two is succeeds. Seventeen. Fifteen. Twenty-four. Succeeds. Uh, or Bailey. Pike is safe. Oh, oh, Eleven. Okay. 25. Succeeds. Everyone who succeeds, you suffer 48 points of oh. radiant damage. Oh, radiant no. damage. Yes. Oh. 48 Holy shit. That's a killer. That's a, that's a killer. If you failed, you took 96 points of radiant damage. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, I have advantage. That's magical. I have advantage. Uh, it's it's not a spell magic. This is not, this, the cloak wouldn't. 96 wouldn't, points? The cloak doesn't say a spell effect. Um, uh, against no spells and magical. other magical effects. Technically, because it's not a leveled spell, it's just it's just a, a radiant blast. It would not affect. It wouldn't give me advantage on that save. No, it wouldn't, because it's just it's. it's Damn. Not. Oh, All right. Ninety ninety six. You said ninety six points of radiant 96, damage. Ninety six. Ninety six points of radiant damage. That's fine. Um, um, so, Keel, if I need you to. Your elemental has gone berserk. There's no way. Yeah. Instead of rolling yeah. a 20, go for it. Just nope. try. That's so much. Unless I roll a net 20. What do you mean, berserk? Uh, they're just going to do their own thing. If you fail. What do you got to roll? A 20? Uh, Percy, yeah, bless I have that to roll shit. a natural 20. So you, even so, I'm letting you have this opportunity, but. I rolled. A 19. Oh, okay. A natural so, 19. As the Conjure Elemental spell fails, the control of your elemental shifts, and now it's aggressively turning its attention towards you and the rest of your oh, party. Can I not, God. like, fade it after this? Oh, I can drop concentration on it, and then it'll go away, right? No. That's no? not how this works. Did you just put mm -hmm. a new enemy on the it's map? Cool. Yep. God damn it. A new um, opponent enters. It's going to huh. use a. Shit. To be fair, Twitter didn't it also get affected the by the blast? Yeah, actually, roll, roll concentration you. check for the. Uh, or, sorry, constitution saving throw for the yeah. elemental. I'm roll surprisingly. One. Say plus two. Natural <laughs> yeah. two. I rolled a 15. Or I rolled a 13 plus 2, so 15. <laughs> the elemental is actually destroyed. Oh, <laughs> oh well, that's good. advantage, oh strangely. God. It only has 90 hit points, so yeah, it's, it's gone. fine, guys. We're not worried guys, about that one, right? Fine. We're worried about the giant. Oh, okay. um, all right, so uh, the entity looks like it's it's barely hanging on, and it's like you see parts of its internal body just kind of falling out from where it tore its chest open. Uh, it's going to use a bonus action to Misty Step. Oh. Beach. Out of this vicinity, over to here. And it's going to use its movement to fly high up, almost like trying to escape the yeah, cavern now. Nowhere, so it's up in that region right there. You put, we'll say, uh, here, <laughs> up on top yeah. of this cavern. <laughs> Turn that away so we don't give. Oh, look at how teeny! I can finally Kirkland see it flight. above a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fairy dragon. It's so teeny. Alrighty, Vex, you're up. Run, baby. <laughs> Oh, this movement geez. brought to you by Kirkland. I guess right. I'll fly up so I can see over the wall. That's, okay. I have no idea yeah. what's going on. Right. You fly up and you see everyone below is just like just wrecked. The ground is charred with some sort of a radiant blast. You watched it flash over the over the wall itself, like a small, uh, like a, a rapid recreation of the intro of Akira. Just like yeah. this big arcing ball of, of white energy. Wow. Blood is sticking out of the ground. Well, can I hunter's mark the BB? Sure. Oh, and then <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to shoot the baby with my blazing booster. Yeah, go for it. Get it. 
that would be a 30. That'll hit. And I'm going to make it a bramble shot. Okay. Yeah. Snare it. Yeah. <laughs> ball of vines in the air. Oh, I'm um, So DC oh, yeah. of 17. I, down. I don't even pretend. Strength? Yeah. Oh, I actually rolled a natural 17. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Okay, well, still, takes still, the damage. still 48 extra. Yeah. Well, that 17. Baby. 17 plus 5 is 22, 22 plus 8 30. is 30. 30. Plus 2 is 32. Plus 1d6 lightning damage. 35. 35 plus 1d6 for Hunter's Mark <laughs> is 40. 40, nice. Oh, so as it hits, sh- sh- slamming into it, you watch as the brambles try and wrap around it, but it actually flies oh, wait, free. Wait, wait. Plus the blazing bowstring. Right. Another two fire damage. Did. Okay. Don't 42 total. It's, you can see more of it's just like falling out of its small, kind of uh, decomposing torso, and it's like trying to fly upward now towards the light. Um, it, it's, it's on the edge. I want to try to do the same thing again. Okay, go for it. With a blazing bowstring again. Twenty. Yeah, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight hits. Well, yes. damage. Oh, okay, ramble shot again, cause I get two, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, that's yeah. a, that's ten yeah. for my blazing bowstring. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh Jesus, Jesus H Macy, where's my other? <laughs> Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that in my life. <laughs> 19. <laughs> 19 plus 5 is 24, plus 8. 24 plus 8 is 32. 36. 32, 30. Oh my god, 34. <laughs> 34 is 38. That baby's dead. Plus 10. Kill that baby. Is 48. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Yeah! Frozen yeah! 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 no more! <laughs> Be free, little angel baby. We shall feast tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's so close. Cool. I, I just shoot the baby. <laughs> All right. As you pull back, as it's fluttering up, you take aim and release. As the arrow strikes it, it's hit like once, kind of like in the same way the dagger hit the baby. It hits it. And throws it, the sheer force of the arrow against the wall, and pins it there like a, like a staple to the rock. And as it reaches over to try and pull the arrow out, and it begins to, suddenly the arrow breaks into a bunch of bramble vines that begin to wrap around it. And you watch as the tiny baby arm and wing try and reach out. As it constricts and twists and slowly constrains it until you see it pop and go limp on the inside of the vines. And as the vines unfurl, what was physically there is just slowly dissipating into like a glitter-like powder. The body just oh, not so bad. Yeah. and dissipating and falling apart. I mean, it was an evil baby, yeah, right? Nobody likes yeah. glitter. Super evil. Yeah, glitter That's, is everywhere. That glitter is never going anywhere. It's a living, living <laughs> glitter bomb. Yeah. Should we get out of here? I don't mean to be rude. Oh God! Oh, Grog. I, I run over to Grog. I'm still in elemental, yeah. Yep. I am still in elemental. Where yep. is he? Uh, you don't know, actually. I saw. I, I, I am this together. I'll, I'll Grog. Point he down. points. I earth glide and I, I find him. Okay. And um, um, I can do double damage to structures. Can I beat him out? I'd say you could probably over time, yeah. And, and you have enough constitution time? to be fine. So I you, don't want to kill still, him I'm by suffocating. No, he's too. fine. He's he's he can hold his breath for six minutes. He's got a really high constitution, so <laughs> you're fine. You just slowly pummel the rock out from his way and pull so. Grog go, go, out from go, go, go. the interior go, go. of the stone floor. Get out of here. Take a quick. Yeah, we should just head out and bug bomb. Don't we need proof? We do need proof. We Grab the body, proof. let's go. Um, there's no there's body. No body. I, I go over Grab to the, the glitter. Baby. Yeah, and I give some of uh, my potion bottles from my alchemy to. Scoop some, uh, some glitter. Uh, oh, I can, I, I'm actually good at this. I try and harvest and sweep some glitter into the. Okay, so you, you gather some glitter in. Yeah. Is there okay. anything of, of really quick? Just just look around. Is there anything of value to grab before we run? Okay. You make an investigation check. I'll look too. I dust devil. Nope. Yeah. Uh, While she's doing that, can I just look over 13, the ground and 12. see if there's any like pl- platinum deposits? 
Mm. Yeah, we can just do a quick That's mining. A good idea. I mean, there there are a number of visible, looks like the edges of veins. Is there two hundred and thirty gold, uh, just, thousand gold worth? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> we could stay here for we a ain't, We ain't mining. In this whole in this whole mine, there's a lot of platinum here, but you have to mine, mine it. it. And as you guys are having this moment, you begin to hear to get the, fuck out. the loud Popping sound the... of yeah. hundreds yeah, of tight, no. of, say, tar- of large. Uh, we can fend them off. Sure. They'll start a mining insect like <laughs> creatures climbing their way down the walls. Oh, God. Of this. Get to the middle and get to the middle and get in the air. We are everybody in the air and in okay, the middle. Okay, so I get everybody in the middle. Oh. Is everyone ready? I need help. What are we going to do? We pulled you what out. What do you mean? Yeah, oh, I'm on the other out? side of the 40 foot wall from the carpet. Huh? Oh, you can. Oh no no no! I can. I go, poof, and I pull Grog through. Pull Grog through. Pull Grog through. No, what? the carpet. We just got to get the carpet. I can go down and grab. Oh, the, the carpet. carpet. Yeah. Oh, I, I take yeah. a few minutes as my um, Earth minutes. elemental self to be through. We don't have a. We don't have, we don't a, few have a few minutes. This I can do double damage to structures. Just, no, you don't have to do that. Jump. Literally, I can it. go get the carpet. I'm right there. Go okay. Get it. Go get it. Okay. Yeah. Go get Roll. the carpet. Okay. So you rush over and grab the carpet. Yeah. And you guys need to make your way back up. Through. Are we bamfing out or are we flying up? I think we're flying up, yeah. and if we see anything, we'll just take shots at anything that's like rolling around. If, if anything is visible, let's just like let's just do damage on our way out. Um, oh, we're doing damage as we fly out. Or we could tree stride out. We so can't tree stride. I, there's no tree. trees here down here. here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can fly up. Or let's we can plane or shift. There is a, a small a tree plane. growing out of the side of the wall from where you killed. The creature, but oh, it's not large right. enough for the spell. Oh. Oh. All right, but still really cool. Yeah, yeah. It just kind still of grows and twists nice out like, and like a bonsai it curves upward. I hope that it slowly becomes a forest underground. They're going to chop it down tight. as they mine the platinum. No, <laughs> damn it! All right, so you guys are coasting up through the. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, oh, are we just yeah. in the? We're just what are you doing? Broom, broom, straight up. Yeah. Broom and, broom and carpet. Up. Broom and carpet. Yeah. Okay, you guys begin heading up through the center column of this opening, as. You're moving up. Um, do, are you just staying in the darkness? Can you daylight or something like up and out? Like I, I sure. can. Do we need to? Do yeah. we? You know, it might. Is it at this point, stay in the dark? it might be the. Okay. Because they might not have good. On the top of my spire, I cast daylight. Okay, so poof, this light now it's emerges from yeah. this area, and as you can see now through this cavern around you. There is about a dozen or so of these large oncake creatures huh? about every 30 feet or so, 40 feet up. They're all, like it's just, you're, you're in the center of, what well, you can look up and you can see easily the hundred that you saw earlier have all been drawn to the surface by the screams of this creature. And as you begin rocketing up with this daylight spell, you watch as some of them start kind of hanging upward in your direction. You start hearing the sound. They're oh, God. Um, Are they attracted they to the light? daylight? Uh, they're apparently attracted to your presence. Um, it is a line shot. I'm going to go ahead and have, let's see here. Are we moving so fast? All right, Percy I'm, and Vex, I need you guys to both make a, a constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, God, we did not. I can fix this, it's fine. <laughs> can you? I can. Pretty sure you said that uh, oh, last time. Yeah, 20. Yeah. Before you turned into Chef Boyardee. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm not going Dexterity, my apologies. Dexterity oh. saving throw? Yes. Oh, that is so much better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Should I reroll? Yeah, I'll reroll. Should you reroll? No. Yeah, okay. reroll again, it's fine. What? You'll be fine, you'll probably. Right, 27. 27? 18. Yeah, you both make it. Uh, so you both suffer. Uh, Eight points of acid damage. That's fine. Um, okay, can I take a? I want to start taking shots at any, like, as high up as I can see. I want to start taking shots at these things. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. Okay. And I want to. I will leave. There are over a hundred. Yeah. Um, so that. and and they they take more than a few shots to go. We'll say that you start picking them off a few as you go, but you watch them fall and past you. And but there's just such a mass number of them. As you guys get up another uh, thirty or forty or so feet. Again, from three different ones. All right, I need uh, Tarion, Percival, and Vex again to make dexterity saving throws. Natural 20. Nice. nice. Um, I'll live with that. Uh, 17. Okay. Uh, 23. 
Okay. I'm also Six points of acid damage to the three of you. Halved like to three for me. <clears throat> You make your way up even further, about halfway up this tunnel at this point, and now you're getting to the heavy cluster of these creatures. So, I'm burning a heal. At, at this point, I have my, yeah, I've, got, I've got an auto though. Yeah. At this point, a, a large cluster begin to spray all across. I need all of you guys to make two I'm dexterity saving throws. Two. Two. Twenty-one up. I'm at eighty-seven points of. Anybody get lower than a 13? Nope. I did. I did. Uh, for one no, second for one. Lower than a 13? Yeah. No. Okay. So that would be. All of you except for Pike and Grog take a total of 14 points of acid damage. Uh, both of you guys, for the purposes of this, will say take okay. 21 points of oh. acid damage. Oh, God. You okay there, Pikey Pants? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. As you're still shooting and, and you hear the, the <laughs> gunfire <laughs> going off, you're finding the arrows. More and more of these onkegs are falling and crumbling off. You hear that <laughs> as they streak past you, plummeting into the darkness below. Even more start throwing streams out there. However, the numbers are starting to thin because you've gone past the thick part of it. So, uh, Vax. Star duty. There's a lot of gangs that was coming in. Uh, Pike and. Let's Vax again. And, and Grog, three of you guys roll uh, dexterity saving throws, please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh god, thank god. 12. 19. 18. 12. All right, six points of acid damage, uh, six points of acid damage, 12. 12 points of acid damage. How much further do we have to go? You guys, are, as you're. It, with, with with the brooms and the carpet, it's not super fast. Ah! So you're like, shh, putting up there again. You get Who, about how, three quarters is, of the way out. What is Pike riding on? She's Pike's low. on the carpet. She's on the carpet. I'm on the carpet. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You should heal yourself. I'm I don't know. Can I do like a wind wall no, to protect us around us? Like you should do it before we go uh, stationary. It might help with one round uh, of of the spray. <laughs> are we doing Are we doing one more round? Well, we'll find out. You don't know. If we are, I will prep. As my wind wall spell to encompass us for one more round. Okay. If it looks so, like as you guys are heading upward, now you're about three quarters of the way out. Um, the numbers are thinning a little bit. They start spraying once more in a row. You go ahead and create a wind wall. You've been preparing as you watch these jets of uh, extremely acidic, burning liquid shoot towards you. Suddenly, woof, a column of wind gets conjured upward from the darkness and just deflects the spray into like a mist that is thrown back against the wall harmlessly. You're almost toward the exit, and you can see a handful more towards the very top of this cavern. Uh, Keyleth, uh, Percy, and Pike. Oh. Make a dexterity saving throw if you can. Pikey. I'm good. Oh. I'm in reroll. Okay. That's the end of my resolves. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Natural 20. Hey! Okay. 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 10. Okay, so eight points of acid damage. I feel like this is 16. the most 20 16. you've ever gotten in a session. Like Seriously, it's feeling like pretty it. good. Keyleth? Yeah. 21. All right, uh, that's uh, eight points of acid damage. Okay, or 21. All right, All right so you took the, you took the, uh, the eight, yeah. So as you guys <gasps> just crest out of the top of the dark <laughs> column below, you can watch as the creatures are now starting to skitter out on the Ugh, edges. Gross. Um, but you are far above, and a few of them are spraying. <laughs> But they're, you're above the range, and it's just kind of coasting over and disappearing below. You're now emerged into the night sky, the moonlight above you. You're all fairly beaten. Um, Is there anything we can throw down there just to, to really piss them off? We, we should strike? try to kill as many as we I, can. I'll drop a, a, a bead of um, firewall. Yeah, and I, I can drop a fireball in there. Let's just. Let's oh, just I'm sorry, a wall <laughs> of fire. Let's just. Throw a wall of fire on the edge of it? Yeah. Yeah, and I'll throw a fireball. Sure. Let's burn it out. Burn and burn the place down. See how many we can kill. All can right. I... Extermination. Bug bomb. Bug bomb. Can you? In the hole. I was gonna see if I could put like a blade barrier on top of the hole, <clears throat> so they just like once the fire's in there, they can't get out. Uh, yeah. What's the radius of blade barrier? Blade barrier. It A's. Just barely crested. Oh, it was. Uh, to pass this. Ninety feet. 
Okay, we'll say you, as you're coming up at the top, you but throw down the blade do barrier. They first. Oh, what, what's the radius of it, though? It's, oh, it doesn't, weird. I don't think it says. I'll pull it up real fast. Um, oh, it does say, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. 60 feet in diameter. No, you can make a straight wall of 100 feet mm-hmm. or 60 feet in diameter. A ringed wall up a 60, yeah, 60 feet. Okay, so you can make a wall so that kind of goes around the uh, one side of it. Oh, okay. Into the hole. It's okay. Fire yeah, do the wall of fire. On the other, okay, so you create. And then drop the fireball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't get to make, get the whole radius, but between like the wall of fire and we'll say the bladed wall, uh, you blast the kind of opening the there. You coast away, watching and hearing as dozens of onkegs that are climbing up to the top begin to just. <laughs> <laughs> and they be, and then eventually they all just begin to burrow back into the rock and stone and vanish. The ones on the surface begin to burrow below, and a calm stillness comes over. The exterior of the mines, as you I all mean, coast up hundreds of feet in the air over the forest, now kind of licking your wounds, and uh, so you you remove the glitter, and you removed the little coffin, the little thing. like the, the, the little stone placard, you had to kind of like wedge it out, but you got it up there. Okay, so. and that's what we'll call for the night. Oh, nice. Nice. That was awesome. Woo. And, uh, Fifty-seven hit points. Whoa! Wow! Yay! Add a hundred to that, and that's somewhere where I went. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at? I fear for you, man. Eleven. Eleven. Oh my Eleven. God. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of hoping that, that like cherub kept was a doing bitch. That my vestige. Oh, that was man. dope. Actually, that, that was uh, that was also so created by the chat. Was it? Uh, yeah. That was that baby. Yeah. Was yeah. Why you do this to us, chat? Why you make us kill a baby? <laughs> I mean, that was, I mean, that was great. That was great. Really cool. I mean, that was fun. I like it. It's a fun, tiny celestial. I'll, uh, it's like beating up a cupid doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the prospect of, of doing something that attacks via the terrain as opposed to actually. Was he an evil right. baby? Yeah. Was it, yeah, it was evil? evil or could celestial. we have saved it? It was, the, the actual title for it is uh, Symphior the Withered Planetar. It was uh, essentially a. a uh, Crazy. A, a celestial seed that was placed to eventually emerge as a guardian in a future time, almost like a Ragnarok type circumstance. Um, but was the land around it became corrupted as it kind of gestated or was was held in stasis and then was awoken prematurely and as such it became this kind of horrible, monstrous so it version of what evil. it was supposed to be. Sorry, dude, it, was it was neutral. Could it have been fixed? But it was dangerous. No, uh, not by us. It, it, it seemed pretty far Not out. anymore. <laughs> It's fucking dead. <laughs> dead. Alrighty. Uh, thank you guys so much. We'll be back next week uh, Battle with the Battle Royale. Royale. Oh my That'll God. be fun. Everybody kill Keelan. Moral one. Yeah. Go for Keelan to begin with. Let's kill him. I am going to be looking at These all two. of my spells. I'm These dead. two have to be the first <laughs> to go down. Yeah. What? Because oh, yeah. loot drop. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we gotta get Hunger Games with this shit. Oh, it's gonna get. Yeah. I'm so jealous. Demand the cornucopia of loot. <laughs> this is gonna be. I'm going for the machete! <laughs> but Vex, you're my best friend. No, you're my best friend. I won't kill you. Okay. Let's get close <laughs> to each other. Please. Like within five Form an feet. alliance. This one shoved my face into lava at the end of the last battle royale. I love you! <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty good. Yeah, it was. It was and pretty then Pike did it to me immediately the next yep. round. I love Amazing. you! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. fight in the back <laughs> office. That was so random. Exactly. Yes, it was. <sighs> Tight. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week, Thursday, with our Battle Royale. Uh, hope you have a wonderful night and weekend. And isn't Thursday yet? Yay! Good night. Yay.